Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi, Jazzy and Lala and uh, Stephanie and Leticia and Sherry and Susan. Oops, sorry. And Renee. Hello, 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 hello. hello. And, and uh, who else did I miss? Anybody? Susan. Mm. Hi, Susan. Right. If I missed anybody, I apologize. Hello. I can turn this. You know, How's everybody doing today? Oh, you know what I did? I forgot my medicine upstairs. I'll have to do that oh, before. Go get it. It in a minute. Okay. I'll have to get it in a minute. Get it in a minute. In a minute. Get what? it. Shut my thing okay. off. Oops. Did that. Oh. What's everybody up to? Today. They're up to no dang good. That's what they're up to. <laughs> No dang good, all right. It's supposed to rain again tonight. Yay. Is it? Mm-hmm. Fun. You guys are getting some rain. I know. It's nice. Nice rain. Hmm. Hey, Deborah. Yeah. Finally, right? Hi, Deborah. Put that there. So what's everybody been up with today? Starting troubles on yeah. the internet? <laughs> oh, that was a tab. Oh yeah, I can do that, can I? Oh no, I don't want that. Dusting, setting up her, organizing her nail area. Stephanie, Susan. Hmm. Hi, Tisha. That always fun, huh? Hmm. Oh, I can pin it. Oh, nice. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying okay. to pin it. Okay. You bought the Chariot Essex desk. What's that? Is that from uh, um, IKEA? You can hear me. Oh, good. I'm glad you can hear me. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you can hear me. And you're gonna organize your nail area. You got a nail area. I used to have a nail area. How is name your own price? Well, it's you bid on it, and so you you basically when you're done bidding, that means you know what I mean. You bid as much as you want. That's how how basically how that works. <laughs> I know. You know what? I saw that, and I'm like. Oh, is this something new? And I'm like trying to figure it out. <laughs> and I go, the no. Only thing I can figure is, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I mean, that's what you do in an auction. You name your own price. You're naming how much you want to pay. It doesn't mean you're going to pay that much. It doesn't mean that you're going to win that bid, but, you know, right. that's how an auction works. But I mean, that's a good thing because it was the way to, you know, word it different. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's mm -hmm. only, you know, I just worded it differently. <laughs> Yeah, the, as I get bored of this, naming things the same way, but that's all it is I basically. Know. You're naming your own price with an auction. When you don't think you, you know, if the, if it goes too high and you don't want to pay that, then you don't have to. If it if you win it, then you named your own price and you want it for what you wanted it for, you know. That was right in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Hey, Shelly. Everybody's here. Shelly and Debbie. Everything's all here. Mm -hmm. Sherry's going to have a busy week. Uh oh, what are you doing, Sherry? What are you doing? You setting up a party? Okay, you've been schooled. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if you're new, I've got um, a link to the rules. Hey, Carla. No, that's not it. Get back here. Yep. I can get the link. <laughs> right, Debbie. Like you read the rules in their entirety before you bid on anything. I'd appreciate it. Um, Rhonda asked, just wondering if you got my, my email. Rhonda. If, I, if it was in the past couple hours, then I probably did not. Because I checked it earlier, so. 
but it was earlier this morning. Email. You sent me. When did you send it, Rhonda? I don't see an email from you. Working on a memory bottle piece. Oh, that sounds cool, Deborah. Did I miss your email somewhere? Did I? Oh, great. Oh, well, the rules thing getting. No, probably because they didn't write it in. I'm looking uh, through right. emails and I don't see one from. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah, I did. I, I, re I responded to it. Oh, that's right. I seen it and I responded to it. Did you not get it? There. I sent, I, I responded. You've been working on a memory bottle piece? What's that? What's a memory bottle? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? That's right. Robin. Hi, Robin and Carla. Ooh, Carla. <laughs> I said, she probably didn't check. I'm going to say that. <laughs> she said, blow it up if I check. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> oh, okay. Play nice, Sophia. Uh oh, she's uh, there, huh? I mean, she's she's there. She's here. <laughs> it lives. She is. <laughs> she's funny girl playing with the dogs. Hi, Gail. My memory about tile, tile adhesive to mosaic broken bits of jewelry and found objects as well. Oh, I got you. So you're basically you're doing oh, like no. a mosaic. Very nice. Uh, a, like a mosaic of like junk and stuff. Yeah, found objects and stuff. Oh, cool. Are you going to grout it in some way or do you just, what do you do about that? I've done canvases like that, but not, I don't think I've ever done a bottle like that. Yeah. I've done a bottle, I've done a bottle with tile pieces and mosaic it, but Hello. not. I think I've done like found objects mm. and stuff like that on a bottle. So that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Cool. 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 Are you in our group? Because if you are, you should send a picture in the group or put a picture in the group. Oh. Oh, that's right. Which was bidding. Last week. I remember that now. I'm going to grow out after. Cool. Oh, yeah. I can wait to see it. Oh, you're not in the group. Oh. Oh. Mm. You should join the group. It's on Facebook. Well, we all see it. So we all can see it. <laughs> Here's the link to the group. All you have to do is hit join and we will approve your membership. There you go. I just pushed everything out of the way, so I got this nice. We've got a little bit more, but it looked cleaner. So I had to go down to Nashville yesterday, so I, we stopped at the Creative Reuse because I figured, well, if I have to go down there anyway, I might as well stop. Yeah, because I had to pick up my phone from FedEx because it, for some reason, the shipping was screwed up or something, and so they asked me to come pick it up, and I'm like, okay, so I had to go down there to get it. Oh. Yeah. You do have a busy week. <laughs> Sherry. Doctor's appointments Tuesday. Oh, you do have a busy week. Hmm. I'd skip the doctors and just go have fun. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> it's funny. I was just thinking that earlier, how nice it is not to have any appointments or anything like that to worry about yeah. for a while. It's nice. So don't forget to put your chat on live chat 
up in the top left corner of your chat box, you should see something that says top chat. Usually, usually defaults to top chat. If you click on that and you can, it brings up a menu, you can select hit live chat because this way all the chat stuff will come up and it doesn't filter anything out just in case you're bidding up against somebody in it and they outbid you and you don't realize it or something, you know, on something you want or whatever. Yep. Or just talking to people and, and it doesn't show up either yours or their, you know, comment or something. Yeah, some don't because I've done that. I'm like, well, what are we doing about? <laughs> and here it's like, uh, <laughs> stop chatting, and miss some things. So. And if you're new, please make sure you read the rules before you start bidding on things. Just be in here, put you in the drawing. You just, just be all you gotta do is be here and you'll be in the drawing. And then if you, we have those drawings will be all night long. And then at the end of the night, we do an, uh, like another drawing that's open to everybody, whether you buy something or not. And that's um, a final kind of drawing. That's a little bit of a bigger prize. And then if everybody that buys something will be in a, in their own draw in like a drawing that, you know, for like a prize that, you know, like a separate prize for people that bought stuff. Yeah, and usually I'll compare that towards something you would want. So if you're somebody that makes journals or if you're somebody that does, you know, certain things, I can most likely accommodate you to give you stuff for that. Like you just said, you're making a bottle with found objects and with mosaic stuff. Well, I could accommodate that if you, you know what I mean? Like if you won that final drawing, I could say, hey, I got some stuff that if you're working on something, you know what I mean? Like that's why I do it that way to kind of gear that final giveaway to be something cool that you can use rather than just put something up that maybe you're not into, you know? So that's why I do that. Exactly. Exactly. Good idea. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice, Sherry. Yeah. Nice I like to to company, that. company meets my gynecologist on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should go there, huh? Yeah, well, it went, you know, and then she she didn't get a good enough uh, oh, tissue or whatever, so I had to go back. Sucks. Aww. Yeah, not fun. That sucks. Make sure you wear your funky socks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta wear them funky socks. Hi, Karen. It is. Give somebody something they can use. I don't want, you know, especially when it comes to like, you know, if it's the final prize or whatever and whatever. Yeah. Is this the auction? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in the wrong spot. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's the auction. Of course it's the <laughs> auction. What else would it be? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Ain't that how it works, though? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we're about 30 minutes early today, but by the time we start auction, it'll be 4.30 anyway, so usually wait wait for people to shuffle in a little bit. Yeah. I'm checking my thing and making sure it's staying charged. Okay, it's oh, good. Yeah. That damn thing happened last week. Stupid, stupid thing. Yeah. Hi, J.D. Right. Oh, you want to see something cool I got from the credit reuse yesterday? Yeah. This is a nineteen sixty drafting set. You know, for those drafting and everything. Isn't that cool? It's got like all the little tools to like you know, do the things and the things, you know, to so like, oh, I gotta draw a circle. Let's, you know, <laughs> you can draw circles and it's got all the little things in it. Isn't that cool? That's a nice set. Yeah, I think it's pretty neat. How do I do that? Very nice. There we go. But there's all kinds of little things, little pens and little 
tools and little doodads and these little containers with extra little pointer things in it and it's pretty dang cool yeah. these little containers i'd love to snag them but i was like Rah. they need them little pencil leads for the thing oh. i didn't want to break up the set just to take those little bottles because i really like those bottles but i think it's so cool it looks like it's in really good shape for being yeah there. yeah wow it's cool Oh, you didn't know that, Deborah? You all, we all have to have poodles to be in the group. What, you don't have a poodle? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can't be in the group then. How <laughs> does this thing work? Mine just acts like one, but isn't. Huh? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. This way. Weird. 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 No, you do not have to have a poodle to be a part of the pack. Mm -hmm. You are already just you are already an honorary poodle just for joining. You don't have to have one. No. Mm -hmm. sort of weird. You don't even need a pet. Mm -hmm. You have neighbors. Hey. That counts. Don't know where that came from. Where did that come from? Yeah. Oh, it might have came from here. Okay, Karen, thanks. I've got the old grand fur baby. Here. There and everywhere. Fur babies? Don't I? Yes, I do. She's a mess. Tell Peyton, make that appointment for your poor doggy. Huh. Yeah. Get into mm -hmm. the and it's gonna the humidity will it's here, but I mean it'll get worse too. So yeah. you know, she needs to have her hair cut. I'm wondering because it was about yeah, I think because uh, they belong to a lot of dog groups and things like that, and they probably, you know, think that it's like, you know, just about. Okay. We got a storm coming. You do too? Yeah. About five ish, I guess. Doesn't look like it's going to be that big of a deal, but whatever. She is Karen, and she's a nice apartment, and she's getting it set up really cute. Hi, Joetta. Hi, Joe. And, and Gail. I Anybody I missed? Uh, Katie got into the pain clinic, right? I, if I'm not mistaken, she said that. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, did she? Well, I know that she was, yeah, She her doctor approved it, yeah. But yeah. I don't know if she got her appointment and all that oh. yet. Right, right. Yeah, Karen, and she's she's been pretty much on time at work, so she's been able to drop <laughs> Sophia because I don't know who said it, and they go, "Is your daughter like usually on time, like for work and stuff?" Because she's probably, "Oh, I'm late. I can't drop her off. Oh, I'm late. I can't drop her off." You know, <laughs> but yeah, she's been pretty good. That's good. Better be. Good. <laughs> okay, JD. You sleeping on pillows? Yeah. Aren't they all little brats? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I shaved Willow's face and cleaned her bum. She had a dirty bum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I say that to Ricky, and he just like he turns his head. He thinks, dirty bum? That's funny. They're silly. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they're probably when their hair gets all long like that, and then yet she sits outside, so I, I don't know. I don't get yeah. it. Yeah. Hmm. But still, I mean, not a good feeling, I'm sure.
How are you doing, Joetta? Yeah, isn't that a nice dry little set? Little things. So, is anybody looking for anything particular today in the auction? You're pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Thanks, Karen. Yeah, it's coming along. That dang pumpkin plant is growing faster than I can keep up with it. <laughs> it got a lot of rain to get water yesterday because when I came home, I watered it and then it started raining. And I'm like, for crying out loud. That <laughs> figures, <laughs> right? Karen says she's going to burn You might be in luck, Karen. <laughs> oh, interrupting set. Are you looking for one, uh, you know, what year are you looking for? <laughs> 1960? <laughs> I don't know. I might, I might have that. No. <laughs> Pumpkins are like really growing. Yeah. I got some females on there. I'm just waiting for the... There's one that I'm waiting for its flower to open so I can try to pollinate it, maybe. <laughs> I was like, I see. I see, Leticia. <laughs> she said there was a few glass tubes in there, right? You no, said glass that. tubes? What, in the drafting set? Mm-hmm. No, there's no glass tubes with it. Just They're just metal. Oh, metal. Oh, okay. I think she's being a smartass, though. I think she's saying, because I've... <laughs> Because I, I think she might have thought they were glass tubes, and that's why she's saying that, because I was saying how cute they were. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they're little metal tubes, but yeah, that's oh. it. She's saying, oh, is, the, like, like, is there glass tubes in it? Because if there are, then I want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. I want to get lights, too, when this is all cleaned up. Cute. Love lights. How are you doing, Leticia? I see your comment. And I raise you a comment. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and I raise you too. Hey, Val. Hey, Val. Do I have embossing powders? No. No, I don't have embossing powders. Carla, you want embossing powders? If you want embossing. Embossing. Embossing? Embossed? She's embossing. Mm -hmm. What do you do embossings? <laughs> she looks cute, lovely. <laughs> hey, Kay, how are you? Hey. I gave Rosie the link. Because she says, if you remember, give me the oh. link. So I was like, okay, oh, cool. I'm like, wait for the link. Um, so I sent this it to her this morning. Oh. Uh, Debbie, what are you talking about? Huh? Well, I don't Debbie know what Debbie's talking about. about. She said something about is that a tape dispenser? Tape dispenser. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any. Just, I have a. Yeah, I don't either. I don't know what she's talking about. No. What you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? Other than wanting to throw the phone. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Always. I'm going to throw that phone. I usually have a frog. Yeah, it's a frog. It's a frog. It's the frog. Yeah, it's green. You might want yeah. to adjust your color. Yeah, adjust your, your screen. Uh, yeah, I know Carla, me neither. <laughs> not, not really. Just the. 
Yes. Yes, it's a cute otter, isn't that cute? <laughs> cute froggy, right? <laughs> cute. I still have froggy. Froggy's here, but now I have froggy and an otter, and I, I'm I'm using the otter today, not froggy. Froggy's taking a break. Isn't that cute? It's cute. It's an otter. <laughs> Instead of using the frog, I'm using the otter one. Get it? The other one? The uh, other one. Uh, <laughs> uh, so funny, I don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the frog's going into a safety deposit box because I've had some threats that people are going to steal it. My screen is still dirty. <laughs> right. <laughs> So I had to put it in a, I'm putting it in a safe deposit box because you guys are trying to steal my frog. <laughs> they are adorable, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Chooty, chooty. Hi, Chris. How are you? Hi, Chris. back. She wants the otter one. Welcome back, Katie. <laughs> Debbie wants the other one. Well, that one I can tell you where to go get if you want the other one. Oh. You want me at Amazon? No, actually. Um, I'll have to find the website. Let me see. Hi, Myra. Uh, Hmm. Wow, this there you go. That's where I got it. Hmm. What? What? Who you want to? Wait a minute. What? That's where you got it? What? Did it not come up? Did it not come up? What came up? Oh, maybe the, the link might not have worked. Did it go to the group or something? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, wait a minute. Now I lost my thing, too. How do I go back? Oh, there it is. I, did, I put the link. I, I, I copied the link, but it didn't copy, apparently. I don't know why. Yeah, sent me right to the poodle page. I went. Hey. Let me see. Let me make sure this link works first. Okay, now it's working. All right, this one. Let's try that again. There we go. I don't know why it didn't copy the first time. I hate when it does that. I know it. Mm. Okay, Steph. Hey. Hi, Myra. Um. So, does anybody is anybody new and need the link to the rules and whatnot, or need me to explain how something works? Mm -hmm. You could make it look like a ferret. That's true. 
Oh, where he is. Adorable. I know. Adorable. Is he really? Funny. How much do they weigh? Or, well, roughly, do you know? Like, well, I'm sure you do, JD. Ferrets? Oh, they're like a pound, if that. Pound? So is he like mm -hmm. five? Just kidding. <laughs> biggest ferret. <laughs> oh. The biggest ferret you've ever owned. Hmm. All right, let me run up and grab my medicine real quick, and I will be right back. Okay. Really, you think? Oh, well. <laughs> see, I know that you know something. You just probably the female maybe one pound. Oh, she hasn't done any resin for a little while. She said she's gonna go back to it though. Ooh, yeah, white ferret. That'd be pretty. Are yours like a brown, uh, JD? Or are they are they kind are they white and brown or, or white, orange? Hmm. It's ugly. My sister, I remember, a long time ago, had a ferret. <laughs> There's some room on the house, and I was like, oh. <sighs> "Ferrets are cute. I like ferrets." But, yeah, they're they're they're, they're pain, little sneaky pains in the asses, but they're cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, she said she hasn't weighed them, but she it could be five pounds because he's very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not any resin items this time. Mm -mm. Nope, but I did make some handmade cards. That I will have in the auction. They are beautiful. <laughs> um, I do have a couple of things. Uh, or like, well, yeah, like two things I have for sale. So we'll start with that. Sale I am. Oh, ooh, red eyes. Neat. 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 Hmm. Okay, so I have these um, sets of uh, heavy-duty trifold file folders. Oh, you better put it on you for hurry before oh. Debbie says something. Oh, that's right. Hurry up before Debbie says something. <laughs> <laughs> this one's mine, so I'm opening it. I'm gonna leave all you guys's closed up, obviously, so I can show you. Because the reason I think these are cool, they're not like normal file folders. Some of you might know. I mean, obviously, some of you might have these, but they're cool because they're like this. Well, you know, like that. And I thought these would be fun to decorate and do stuff with. Mm. Because of the fact that they open like that and they've got like, you know, you can put little make like little notebooks or papers that you can decorate it and then put like papers that hang down like and, and brack them bracket them in you know put some holes in them and and stuff cool. you know so they're cool and they're very heavy duty they're like real heavy that. yeah they look at you get what is it 10 in here 10 pack yeah so i thought they were fun i want to do some altering of some of these i think they'll be fun to alter fun to alter Neat. So I have, let me see how many of these I have. I have one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten of them. And we'll do these for two bucks a piece for all for a pack. Two bucks a pack. I have ten packs. 
And when Janie says go, you just put me in the in the chat if you want one. Two dollars. You ready? Your fingers ready? Trigger fingers. Go. Get your fingers ready. <laughs> the first ten people will get one. Fingers are doing so good. Who's the S? Gypsy. Joy. Tisha. Val. Darla and Renee. Darla. Hi, Joy. I have three more if anybody wants them. Otherwise, oh, Carla. Sorry, Carla. I didn't see you. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. I looked right past her, too, probably because the blues are set, are blending. Oh, Deborah. Oh, really? Deborah. <laughs> that's eight, and that's nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then Deborah will be nine. Hi, Darla. Oh. So if nobody else wants the last one, it will go to Chris, who wanted a second one anyway. That last one's going. I know you are, but <laughs> my brain skipped over you somehow. Oh, thank you. I got sloppy joes. The blue means that she is an admin on, on my in the chat, which means she can kick you out, Myra. <laughs> All right, Chris gets yeah. two, and everybody else gets one. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Otter. The Windex? Uh, I don't have I don't know where the Windex is. It was? There. Okay, it was? Oh, I don't have it here. Did you look under the sink? So she's fantastic. <laughs> oh, you stuff by the dog uh, stuff. Never. The stuff by the dog garbage. She doesn't kick out until, unless she's sleeping. And the cat walks her, oh, across the... Who? What? So she never kicks anybody out unless she's sleeping and the cat walks across there. Oh. For the dog. Mm -hmm. Hi, Shelly. Time no see for you. Oh, you right down. Thank you, Shelly. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. Deborah. We have our other Deborah. All the Debras are here. Mm -hmm. All the ones that matter anyway. Hi, Debra. <laughs> That's right. He's always good. He won't get kicked out. <laughs> Hi, Christine. Hi, Christine. How have you been? I haven't seen you in a hot minute. No, right? Whoopsie, go that way. Which 
go. We're going to put them all over your toes. Oh, yeah, I don't blame you. 7.45 a.m. And it's early. Early, early, early. What? Why did I get two top buns? Because you're the tops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you laid them that way. There's two bottoms and two tops. He made sloppy joes. <laughs> yeah, I did. I two bottoms. You thought you were the tops. You thought me. I was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, what Stacy said. <laughs> You're rebounding. Good. Good for you. Yeah, jelly. Jelly from the future. Alaska. From the future? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. No, she's from the past. One, two, seven. Oh, Shell. I, I thought you said Shelly. I'm like, huh? I don't Shell. Shelly. I don't know why. I just... <laughs> No, is this Shell or Shelly? Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I just always said Shell. I, I assumed it was Shell. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. Yeah. Huh. I just assumed it was Shell. It might be Shelly. Oh, that's going to blow my mind that all this time I've been calling her Shell. And her name is Shelly. <laughs> Oops. Shelly? Is it Shell? I called you Jane and your name is Janie. <laughs> Do you have that E sound? <laughs> e sound on the end of your name? I assume the E is silent all the time, you know? Yeah. All right, the next thing I have up for sale is string. Mm -hmm. <laughs> string. Good string. old string. Mm -hmm. Tie things up. It can be both. I can't even, well, what is it though? <laughs> You're not gonna. No. I'm still gonna call you Shell because I, it's been it's too late now. But <laughs> it's. I, I think your mother. Shelly your mother and and she, doesn't wanna, she doesn't want to hurt my feelings because I've been calling her I Shell. So oh I think mind. her name is Shelly. <laughs> it's, it's conveniently comes right out of the bottom. But oh. let's see. Good and strong for doing journals and such. Oh. It's not like super thick, so it's not going to be like really a pain in the butt and noticeable. Oh, nice. Fine. So, good string, good string. Ooh, you know what I could do? I used to have, oh, do I still have a barcode scanner? I could see exactly what it is if, if I had the barcode scan scanner. I think I do. Hmm. My phone. I did anyway. I could see exactly what it kind of string it is and all that stuff. You guys, you got your own food. She told me they were hot. Oh, well, burnt the heck out of my mouth. You like it? It's good. It's good in fact. No. There we go. What? Yeah. Most people say it. The way you said it, Stacy, but I have family oh, that okay. is it the other the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> <gasps> mm -hmm. It's not coming up for some reason. I wonder why. Well, whatever. Anyway, it's string. It's made out of probably cotton of some sort. It feels soft. Anyway, I have a bunch of rolls of this, so I'm, I'm not going to bother counting because there's probably 20 at least. So we'll do a dollar a piece. Does that sound good? A dollar a piece. Get lots of string. 
Just remember when you open it, if you look inside of it, there's going to be a little string in there. That's the one you grab and you can unwind it from the center. <laughs> I know, I know, Shelly. <laughs> I didn't answer the question. Me? What question? Well, no, it's because um, Shelly says some people, you know, and then family says it's the way. Oh. So meaning family probably is right. So it's Shelly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh -huh. <laughs> just kidding. It can be the way I bet. She probably doesn't mind. String. <laughs> this will just write it right now on the paper. Right. Sophia. You want three, Myra? Okay. Anyone else want some? Get it while it's hot. Get it while it's hot. Get it while it's hot. Mm -hmm. oh, my fingers swollen. Oh. <laughs> Need you some good journal making string? I have some of that. String, string, and more string. You can have three. Three, four, four, four. Christine? Christine. Christine. Sophia? Stop. Sophia wants string. Tie up her little paws. I know. She's like, just keeps at it. Letitia. Oh, you wanted two. Okay. Anyone else want string? Stringy, stringy? More string. Hey, Kim. I don't know if you want to for a dollar. I'm losing my mind. Okay. okay. Dollar roll, dollar roll. Dollar roll. I think I do have some of that. It's pretty strong. Oh, you wanted you're the one that wanted three, and I put two down. I knew there was somebody. The with strong string, strong string, strong string, strong string, strong string. Oh, I said, do you want some string for a dollar? Dollar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you get my email, Kim? That string, silly. One of those. You got you some strings. <laughs> She's gonna tie somebody up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tie all kinds of people up. <laughs> oh, okay. Check your email, please. Mm. 
you need to check your email lady or else you're not going to get your items ever <laughs> um okay so i'm going to start the auction stuff do i have any blue velvet fabric that's very specific Ooh. i don't know i'm not sure but i can check in a little bit <laughs> oh, okay myra <laughs> but i'm not sure blue velvet i, I had mm -hmm. velvet at some point but i can't remember if it's blue and where it is if it is I'm trying to think. Oh, I got you. <laughs> so um, if you haven't already checked out the rules, Miss Janie, can you put them in? If you're new, uh, check out the, ru the rules. Yes. I'm okay, I'll see if I have any um, as I'm checking around for stuff. <gasps> Sorry. Oh, what was that? She slipped off my lap and hit the stir like container. Oh, no, no. not my lap. She's trying to get up on my leg to get something to eat. Uh oh, oh. <laughs> She's like, oh, okay. Mm. Do you know what I found at the Creative Reefs? Uh, Reefs. Those, they're collectible little bunny figurines. They're called like, they're, oh crap, now I can't remember the name of them. Uh, bunnies. <laughs> Shoot. Oh. Oh, oh. I can't remember the name of them. I don't know. But anyway, they're actually worth some money and I'm gonna have to try to list them somewhere, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. Are they ceramic or glass or they're called stoneware as some sort of ceramic um no no not calico critters um oh i should have it on my computer actually oh. sounds interesting uh, um oh pen delphin pen delphin rabbits or bunnies <laughs> wait whimsies <laughs> And Delphin. Wade Whimsies? No. <laughs> Cute name, though. Yeah, there's apparently there's some sort of collectible because hmm. they're worth some money. I just need to figure out what <laughs> it's the hard part no no i have some kim i used to do the the uh growing in grace the sick um one through 16 for peyton but by the time i got to i don't know what number it was she really cared about it. like okay forget it i'm not gonna get him anymore yeah nice stuff all right, are you guys ready for the auction? Carla wants to know if you have the link. The link to what? To what? I think the what you got. Oh, the bunnies? Mm -hmm. Uh I can send you a link to the search of pictures that I have here. You can check them out there. Hmm, there you go. Oh, I've seen those before. Kim sent you an email. Oh, okay. Oh. 
green either. Yeah. They're cute though. Like they're collectibles. You know how some things just look like they're mm, collectibles. Okay, I replied, Kim. Where'd it go? Oh. You should know these, but you don't? Yeah, I've never heard of them, but then again, I'm not huge. Like, I don't, like, care for bunnies all that much, you know? It's not my thing. <laughs> but, I mean, they are cute, but, you know, I had no idea what they were. No idea. Yeah, never heard of them. I used to have bunnies, little dwarf bunnies. They were so little and regular hmm. bunnies. But, yeah, one. <clears throat> now she wants a real bunny. <laughs> Step away from the computer, JD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no bunny. All right, our first item up for bid is this awesome cutter, Whoa. which I don't want to because I really like it. Um, it is... Uh, a Fiskars. It's a rotary cutter, which you guys know I like rotary cutters. It's a nice big one. Um, and it's not really used that much because they're, you know how they have like the little thingy here, right? So you can, oh, it's got dust in it. Well, it was used some, but it's, it's not been used. It has four sides to it. This one does, which is awesome. And they must have either, maybe they just replaced this. There's got some paper in there, like paper dust. So maybe they just replaced this because it's, it's like brand new because there's not a whole lot of cuts in that. I can tell, but either way, it's got four sides, which is nice. The ones that I usually have only have two sides. So this has got okay. four sides. And so you can flip it over because that's like, you know, that's the part that, you know, it's not a big deal. Obviously you can replace them really easily, but. You know that that'll sometimes get worn down or whatever but this thing works great because i was surprised at how well this thing works cuts like butter <laughs> yeah it does it cuts real nice i almost kept it because i thought that's pretty cool cutter there oh let me pop that back down in there oh. but yeah it cuts, you just push you push to cut so some people get confused and they get a rotary cutter and they don't realize you have to put pressure on this and then cut because it pushes down and then you cut like you me. Know, and, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, rotary cutters, you got it. Well, although Carl, you don't have to push down no. unless you're doing like heavy duty stuff. Typically, you could just move Carl and it goes. But most rotary cutters, and you'll feel it, it has like a spring action to it. So this thing cuts like butter, though. I'm telling you, this is a great cutter. I was yeah, impressed. I with that. Yeah. And nice, it's not shredding this paper if it's thin. No, not at all. Right. I don't know why you guys are still here. I'm done. See? Okay. And what's nice about rotary cutters is if you do journals, um, when if you're like me and I like to take the journal, each signature, I like to, you know how the edge, once you put the signature together, it the edge of the pages like step down and they don't they're not like flat. Well that's why I like rotary cutters because you can fit a lot of pages under here and like go back and forth and cut through them to get them nice and straight at the edge, you know. So anyway. Yeah, it's nice. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I got this cutter. It's got little compartments on both sides for your extra blades or what have you. It's got one over here. Extra blades, which are very easy to replace in these. All we do is un unwind this little thing here and then lift it out and you pop a new blade in and you just crank it back up again. Yeah, nice. So, yeah. So we're going to start this off at eight bucks. Mm -hmm. 
for this. Go. Oh, where's my phone? Coyotes got to your bunny and the babies. Oh, that's not good. Mm -hmm. That would be so heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. Sitting over there. <laughs> what is it? He's cute. He's a cute. He's not otters. He's an otter. He's an otter. Dog. Hey, if you sit up here, you gotta be still. Is that Sylvia? Yeah. <laughs> is she a wiggly worm when you sit on your lap? Yeah. Well, she's just like sitting up. She wanted to see if I had any more food, I think. <laughs> and she keeps moving her feet. You're moving your feet around too much. <laughs> she won't lay down. Oh, know. really? No. <laughs> you what? what? Too hyper. I know what she is. She wants to play, play, play. She's playing. As usual. Oh, you can be bad. <laughs> Belle's getting good at this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got it, Belle. Oh, do you have a Keisha? Oh, I'll go see. What is she have? Oh, that's a nice cutter, Val. Sure you'll. You'll be cutting up a storm. That's right. <clears throat> Baby, come on. You'll be cutting fingers off everywhere. <laughs> cutting no fingers off, Val. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I just work. Cool. She'll be she'll be saying, "You cross me, you're gonna get the sis, you're gonna get the finger cut, the Fiskers cutter." <laughs> That's right. Your fingers off. Like, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! She's coming for you. <laughs> now that cutter is one of those things that I have to make sure I have a box for, but I'm pretty sure it'll fit. And I, I'm pretty sure I have a box for it actually. Oh, good, Val. Is that for for repair? Repair? What's for repair? Her laptop. She got it back. Oh, oh well, nice. Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. Oh, good. See, it came at the right time. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. All right, I got some stencils. I got this stencil, which I don't know what it is. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. It's a decor stencil, but this one's got a lot of paint on it. The other ones don't, but that one I put in there, but I don't know what it is exactly. So, not sure. That's the only one that had all that paint on it, but I thought I would, I don't know. I thought I would recognize it once I got it and looked at it a little closer, but now I'm looking at it going, I don't know what it is. But anyway, we've got these shapes here. Ovals. Squares, and it's got these little things here, which you can use to, you know, put cool edges on things. And it's got like another edge here. So each one of these has got edges, and they're nice because you can put them in a three ring binder, which is nice. And this one's got suns and tropical things, and sailboats and clouds and dolphins and stars, starfish, I think. This one has, oh, Christmassy stuff. Christmassy stuff. Robin said a centipede. Birthday stuff. 
Oh, a centipede? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. like that, that right? <laughs> yeah. This one's got some more geometric shapes. This one's like a heart. Uh, oh, that's cute. Corner, you know, like to go around a page. Yeah. And we've got a heart circle. Wreath thing. Wreath. A wreath. This one is oh, okay. This is like a manger scene type of thing. Oh. And we got an alphabet. <laughs> this is. I don't know. Oh, this is for quilters. Oh. Mm. They're like see through, so I guess you could trace what you want. I don't know. Well, if you're using paper, you can trace it, I guess. I don't really know what you do with these. So they're in here, though. I didn't realize they were in there. I think I had those ones before. Here's a stencil with, like, clothing and stuff on it. Oh, cute. Oh, and feet. You yeah. like one with angels and borders and angels and stars. Here's more fishies. Oh, this one is cute. Can I have a little on it? Hi, Susie. And then, oh, here's some more with clothes on it. So I guess this is like for maybe like a doll or something, but you can make, you can probably put the clothes and then make the face and the arms and, and draw with it or something, you know? They put the clothes yeah. together and then put the person in the clothes. Christmas stuff. Here's some more clothes. So like you could put, like, stencil down some pants, stencil down the shirt, and then you could draw the head and the legs and stuff. Here. One with all kinds of things on it. It's a ruler, too. Here is another Christmassy one. And here is another template that has shapes on it for something. Mm -hmm. um, sizing template for something i don't know you don't know <laughs> no bueno don't know oh and then i have this little package that has like shapes in it i guess you could trace them or use them as masks they say head, head on it i don't know Anna, Arn, peach sorry about that issue that's okay apple leaf Grapes, 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 another orange, apple, banana, half a banana is an arm. I don't know what they were doing with these, but peach head, they're like made out of heavy, whatever it is, not just cardstock, but it's like that heavy stuff, kind of like what those folders were made out of. Oh, yeah. So they're just in there, so I put them in. I didn't know what they were. <laughs> All right. But anyway, we'll start the stencils and these things off. Oh, I see a paper here. Oh, Fruit Man. Fruit Man. <laughs> That's why. Okay. So you're supposed to make Fruit Man. Okay. Make Fruit Man. I don't know. Don't ask me. I didn't invent it. I'm going to see it on to the consumer. Fruit Man. Fruit Man stencils. Oh I don't know. <laughs> we'll start cool. these on the three bucks. <laughs> Three dollars, go! <laughs> Fruit Man. Mr. Fruit Man. I'll make you a Fruit Man. <laughs> Heck yeah. I don't know. It's just a bunch of stencils and stuff. Just, yeah, and some fruit in the end, I guess. Why do you think they said fruit man? I don't know. Yeah, so it was just like, yeah. <laughs> Weird. 
Yeah, right, Linda. So do I. <laughs> Yeah, I saw those the, the fruits at the end, but then they, you know, I don't know if they pertain to fruit in the end, but. <clears throat> oh, yeah, could have been. Yeah. Fill the man out of fruit. I sent you an email, kid. Whatever <laughs> the hell this is. Rude. I don't know what it is. It's an elegant scroll. It doesn't look like a scroll to me. Sophia, I'm going to roll right over your tail. I didn't know you were back there. I'm like, I, think, I think somebody didn't cut it out all the way. So I'm not really, I don't know. Beats me. Leticia, you got it, Leticia, for eight. <laughs> no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, Myra. I'm like, hmm, fruit man, huh? I wonder where that banana is supposed to go. It said use arms and legs, but mm, it is. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> do you have buttons today? I do have a small amount of buttons, yes. What do I do? I'll have to get those as well. Here, let's try. Yeah. Get me one. Cool. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Who wants a random bag of stuff? I do. Floating <laughs> around. Get out of here. Okay, I have a bag of random stuff in it. Oh, okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. I know. I know. Put you in the corner. Back here. What are you doing here? So these are little like cutout thingies. There's a whole bunch of them here, and they're all the same. So basically, you punch out these little things, you know, and you can punch out these blocks and have like little shapes. And there's bunches of them. One of you creative peoples can do something with them. I think they were for <laughs> colorful cutouts, pattern blocks. They were for like a classroom thing or something at one time. And then we got more here. And these are laminated pieces, so you can use these on the jelly plate as masks and stuff. That would be cool. Cool use of those. And then there's some more of those things in there, so I'll just throw them all in here. Cool. All right, Linda. Yep. Yes, there's teacher stuff. And then I have a bag full of, and these will go into bags for better shipping, and I need these here anyway. Um, these are little shapes. Again, you can use them to collage them somewhere. They're just cut out little squares and things. Anxiety too. It's all different. There's some more of those like collagey things. So you can use these to collage and do stuff with. And there's a whole bag of different shapes in there. There's all different geometric shapes of those. Then we have one of those reversible wooden wall scroll calendars from who knows when. But if you're like me, and what I want to do with the ones that I have is I want to paint them. 
and do like something mixed media on it just to be fun. So I would gesso because it's wood, so you can gesso it. And it's got a calendar on one side and that on the other. Or you can keep it because it's cute. It's got that cute little picture on it. So up to you. But I'm I'm gonna take mine and paint it. Because I think it would be kind of cool to do. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think I can get it back in the box. Okay. Oh, yeah, in there. okay. Then you will get some brushes. I've had these for sale in the past. And I'm, I threw some in here. I also have more geometric shapes, but these are plastic colorful ones. Use those for mosaicing something. Then I have this little bedazzled little gems to make that design, it says. And I also have these, which are mirrored and then matte gold and silver uh, little dots. You can use these to collage again, some metallic -y colored things. Fun. Then I have a Cinderella dress sticker set. That's just this, this price sticker that was on the outside. But it's made of real fabric. Cute little Cinderella sticker set. I've got this sticker set. It has a couple layers of flowers in there. I have this thing of ribbon here, which is cute. It's like a red ribbon. Uh, like a rainbowy. Oh, these are ri these. Are, oh, there's ribbon and then there's a bow because somebody made bows with them. So there's a bow, but then the rest is just a ribbon. But it's got like a rainbow in the center. It's kind of pretty. And it's velvet, so you can make bows or you can use it for projects. I've got some little pearls, flat back pearls. I've got a little felt heart that you can further decorate or sew something on. I've got little fruit slices. What is this? What is this? I don't remember. Oh, I have two lenses from glasses, I guess, but you know, they're pieces of glass. You could do something with it. If you know how to solder, you could solder around the edge and then do something on the glass. These two pieces. They must have been left over from something that nobody picked up. Nobody picked up their lens crafters glasses. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> hey. Bottle cap. Another heart. A wreath. But you can take all this off and decorate however you want. <laughs> all right, there's, a couple, there's a couple of them actually in here. There's like five of these little wreaths. You can make them for Christmas. Make them really cute. There's some artist charcoal in there. This is a very random bag. There's some purple rhinestones. Oh, there's a tiny little thing of Play-Doh. <laughs> I realized that was in there. A little thing of Play-Doh oh. in there. There is some of these purple sequins that are like flat sequins. There is a, um, a top that you wrap the string around it. If you've never done one of these before, we can do it. Which end is it? This end? It's this mm. end. You wrap the string around the thing and then you yank it. And it's one of those kind of tops. Oh, the top. trolley tops. Yeah. Spin top. yeah. Mm. It's got the instructions in here on how to do it. It's from the Tennessee Museum. It must be from the gift shop, I think. And that's it. Bunch of junk. Bunch of good junk to play with. That's what I say. Good junk. Good junk. It's a good kind oh, of junk. Yeah, that's right. You need them. All kinds of stuff to make stuff with. Yeah. We'll start this off at four bucks. Get you a steel. Get you some things to make some mixed media stuff with, mm -hmm. or to paint, or use on your jelly plate, or make a bottle cap, tambourine, which is what my vibe stick is. Oh. You got some stickers, you got all kinds of goodies. You got brushes, you got Play Doh, you got felt hearts, you got a calendar to paint. All kinds of goodies. Can't beat it. 
if you like to make something out of nothing, this is your yeah, block. You go. Got to always have something for something for to make sure. Right. Uh, tiny fruits. Teeny, tiny, tiny fruits. Little slices. Oh, baby fruits. Here, the teeny tiny little slices. I can figure out how to open this. I'll show you. Because you can't see this cloudy looking plastic thing. Get back here. They're like thin. You can collage them or you can literally put them in resin or glue them. They're little and they're kind of flexible. The fruits and flowers, really. Are those for nails? Yeah, you can use them for nails, for resin. Yeah. Yep, yeah. they are, I think, because I've got... Yeah. Watermelon slices, really cute. I tend to use them for my nails. Don't. There's some in here that I can't really get it out. So it's not going to ATCs and, you know, all the ATCs I've made, I should have thought about that. No, they're not for a dollhouse. They're for, like, nails, nail art and stuff. But you can use them for anything. Yes. Yeah. Okay, no chatting that. during the video. They are. Hush it up. There you go. There you be. <laughs> They're for fruit man to eat. That's right. <laughs> Uh, see, now I can't see who won. Chris won for five bucks. Chris! Chris got the fruit. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's over. I forgot. Put that on there. Bag. Need a bag. Keep the card. Yeah, good junk to play with. I like me some good junk to play with. Buffering. Is it buffering for everybody or just JD? Well, you're back. Good. Good, good. I don't know. Nobody say anything. Maybe we just. Huh? Go. <laughs> could you just her? My internet seems pretty strong today. My my Wi Fi, I mean. You need a buffering. You need a buffering? I do. Oh, buff, buff, buffering. I've got this folder and it's filled with yeah. templates. It's got templates coming out the wazoo. Oh, so this is a template that goes with something, doesn't it? Is this one that goes with the thing? See through pop and view pattern. Okay, this does a see through pop and view. It shows you how to do it. This is like for making cards and envelopes and things. This this there's a lot of really cool templates in here, which I was very tempted to keep all of them. I only kept one template for myself, but this is um like an envelope oh, yeah. template. There's different sizes, and all you do is you trace it, 
and then cut it out and you just fold it where it says to fold it. As easy as that. And you can make envelopes, different size envelopes. Here's a different type of envelope. This is a, you know, like a coin envelope. If it's a three and a quarter by six and a quarter card or paper or like paper money, you know. We've got several things on this one. This got little envelopes, little tiny. These are great. I like making these. Um, but it's got all kinds of envelopes there. And this one's got other envelopes on it and little pockets, coin envelopes and such. Folders. Folder? No. What is that? Library card holders. Oh, look. Library card holders and mini file folders. Cute. See? All the things to make the things. All the things, mm -hmm. things in the things. That's right. No, no fancy die cuts. Oh. This one here does, you know, also little envelopes and stuff. There's uh, three basic round envelopes, and they're little, little. So you make, you know, we like our tiny things. Here's some right. more tiny envelopes, and this one's got like designs you can draw onto it and stuff. This one's got a tag in the middle here, a tag here, and then it's got an envelope. It's got all kinds of stuff. Tags and envelopes. Three basic square envelopes. It's not basic because you got all kinds of goodies on there. And then we've got another one. This one's office envelopes. Oh, so I see it makes one like that, and then it makes a little, like, library pocket card or something. And then this one makes three envelopes. And this one has all the fancy things, it makes tiny little envelopes, a bunch of tiny envelopes and tabs and all kinds of things on there. Another one that makes all kinds of things. Plus, you can use it as a regular stencil. Because it's got other designs on it. And then we've got this one, which is a really big uh, one of those pillow boxes. And you got this one. It's a takeout box, you know, like one of those little takeout boxes. And here's some instructions for the little favor boxes, which I'm going to show you here in a second. Make these cute little cone things. Here's another pillow box. Here's another box of some sort and here's some more things about gift boxes and different boxes and let's see there's another paper in here about the takeout box and then here's candy box and here's a gift box template here is another pillow box yeah pillow box template different sizes here is a regular box template for like a square box Here's a little open handled box temp uh, template. So it makes like a little box with handles on it. You love making boxes? She likes making boxes. She says. I hate it. Oh, look. Treat, treat box template. Here's a purse box template. We all know Debbie likes to make boxes. She's the box queen. Mm -hmm. Here's a uh, piece of cake box, so you can like put a piece of cake in it. Isn't that cool? I dropped something, didn't I? Or was that it? First box, treat box. Oh, I don't forget it. Okay. Treat chest. This one makes a treat chest. This one makes a fry box, like a French fry box. This one makes one of those pyramid boxes. Here's some more instructions. This one makes one of those, another one of those uh, takeout boxes. I don't remember what that was. Here's some of those cone boxes ones. I saw the instructions before. Here's another one. This is a paper bouquet. Oh, it's by paper bouquet. It looks like it's some sort of box. And then there's this one, which all the instructions, I think, for all of them are in here. Yeah, because here's this one here. Those, yeah, that makes the takeout boxes that kind there. So anyway, we'll start these at five bucks. You get a whole bunch of them. Lots of fun to do. Five dollars. Go. I love making envelopes and stuff. It is addicting to make little envelopes and all kinds of stuff. Yes, you trace it and cut it out. Okay. 
Easy peasy. See, I'll show you. I can make one. I can make as long as it's a small one because I don't have a lot of paper up here. Not the back of this. So, like, if you want, um, oh, I want an envelope or something. Not nothing I have to glue necessarily. Oh, here we go. Fold, 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 fold. All right, easy peasy. Then you take your scissors and you cut around the outside of it. Easy peasy. Cut around the outside, which I'm not doing a good job of doing. And then you just fold along the fold lines. Using a ruler is probably better than doing it my way. And then you have yourself an envelope. Cute. Or I did it wrong. I think it was supposed to go this way. Either way. Yeah, that way. Then you have yourself an envelope. Ta -da. Stuff like that. Very easy. Fun stuff. Good lord, you guys like these, huh? <laughs> Deborah, you got it, Deborah. <clears throat> I would say they're worth it because I looked up how expensive they are. <laughs> and they're each one of them, they're pretty they're not cheap. Alright, yeah, those are in really good shape too. <laughs> like bread. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean they are you're you're not really gonna wear it down because of the fact that all you do is trace it. It's not like you have to cut on it or do anything like that, you know? Yeah. So they're gonna last you, you know, forever and ever and ever, amen. <laughs> That's a Travis. What's his name? A Randy Travis song. I'm gonna love you forever and ever, forever and ever, amen. Who knows Randy Travis? We all know who he is, right? Yeah, some of us do. Not putting him in there very neatly, but. Or I ship it if I have to. I'll put it in there either. Because it already was, it already was split here because I put too many in there. Too many things. Okay. Oh, I missed one. Get over here. Yeah, I never really. All righty. more stencils. Ooh. I got that stencil. I got that stencil. I got that stencil. And then I have that stencil. And next I have a uh, alphabet stencil. Oh no, numbers. Here's numbers. Here's the alphabet. Half of it. Here's the A, B, and C, and all the way up to M. There's several alphabets here. There's that one. 
A, B, C, and then it goes to Z. W, X, oh, Y, and Z must be on. Oh, that was that one on the other one, I think. They're all here. They're just mixed up order. More alphabets. More alphabets. Numbers. More numbers and alphabets. And then we've got a bunch of hearts and hexagons. Or octagons, actually, right? Yeah, octagons, I think. And then we've got hearts, scalloped hearts, and like looks like a tag thing. And then we've got these little frames. And we've got flowers and such. And we've got ovals and circles. And we've got another alphabet. And we've got apples and acorns and leaves. And we've got cats and fish bowls and fish and paw prints and birds and houses and dogs and bones. And then we've got ghosts and stars and moon and a egg shape and a pumpkin shape. Oh, and a face to put on the pumpkin, I guess. Oh, yeah, JD, that's kind of fun. More alphabets. We've got some regular, just generic shapes. Like snowflakes, a heart for the seasons, I guess, like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, start of school, a star, a leaf, a chick, an umbrella, a rabbit, full of clover, a heart, and snowflake. More letters, another font, more fonts, more fonts. Oh. Smaller block letter fonts. Another one with kooky fonts. Kooky! More fonts, more fonts, hmm. more fonts, and some letters, and some hearts. And then we've got another stencil with alphabets on one side, and then like Little places to write and some borders on the other side. We've got another alphabet. We've got this one that's shaped like a flower that has flowers and stems and leaves and stuff. This one's a whole alphabet. This one's another whole alphabet. These are, they call them sugar stencils, you know, like for cookies. But you can use them, obviously, they're plastic, so use them whatever you want. Here's another one. And then a plastic butterfly, which you can either decorate or use it as a mask. So lots of stencils and masks and things. I start these off at six bucks for bunches of stencils. Six bucks. Go. 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 Mad stencils. <laughs> Enough stencils to stencil your way to heaven. Yes, for sure. Or to the moon, <laughs> wherever. <laughs> it comes first, right? All right, let me move some things here so I can see what's what. And there goes Winnie, barking. <laughs> She's standing at the top of the stairs, staring at me. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing down there? Until her brain's out. <laughs> the 
shapes are nice. If you don't have a die cut machine, you need a shape. You can just trace it and cut it. If you wanted like a frame or something. Oh yeah. And you don't have to worry about it. Ouch! Oh my wrist hurts so bad. Chris, you got it. Whoops! They got caught. They got caught on each other. Get up there. Yeah, my wrist is hurting yesterday from lifting stuff and. Oh stuff. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my wrist has been really hurting me a lot lately. Does uh, wet weather affect you or? I don't know. I never really could tell. I, you know what I mean? Like, I think I think it just hurts all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't think I know. It, it makes much difference. I mean, it comes and goes like certain things, but I don't think wet weather makes much difference. I think it's just overuse is what really does it. JD said, tape your wrist for support, and Kim said, set you an email. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a wrist thing, but I hate wearing it, so I know I should, but. All right. Oh, it's going to help. I have a cool fabric sample book. And it's got like a lot of black and cream and black and white type of stuff. If you like those colors. And it's got some fuzzies on it. Don't pay attention to those. It's fabric. It's going to have fuzzies. Textures. Pretty. It's very velvety. It's got an animal print to it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. There it is. Animal print. Soft. Tape it like an athlete. Yeah, I should, shouldn't I? This one has like a print to it too, but I don't want to lift things too much up with my wrists being the way they are. So, yeah. Zebra print. Soft. They're all soft. A lot of them are like very softy. This one's got little silver threads in it. This one's velvet here. Fuzz, get off one. Velvet fuzz. Oh, do you, Shelly? Hmm. That's trendy. Yeah. That's cool. Wait, like the colors kind of ombre down. Kind of cool. this at four bucks black and white four bucks go <laughs> oh let me check my emails oh all right miss kim i apologize <laughs> See, I knew there was a reason why I was like, I'm looking and going, what is, what is wrong with this? Why can't I? I was so confused. I forgot you had a different name on, on PayPal, but you didn't at first. And I think that's what threw me. I should, I mean, it sounds stupid that I forget something, even though I, it's something I originally knew. You know what I mean by that? Like I originally knew something and then it, my brain just decided to file it somewhere else because I forgot. <laughs> Because I don't think um, that sounds stupid at all. <laughs> Why? Because you do it too? <laughs> yeah. A lot. Um, yeah. Sure do. Oh, no. Stop it. Stop it, computer. I hate it, but you know. <laughs> I know. All right. As soon as 
she reminded me what her PayPal name was. I was like, oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> uh, that makes a lot of sense. Because I was like I searching that. for a payment and I was like, putting it in her name. And I'm like, why is nothing coming up? I'm so confused. I'm like, I'm so confused. And, and I kept looking and I kept like, going, wait a minute. And I really, it I didn't even dawn on me that she had a different name. Like, that's how dumb I am. No, I'm still that. Right. And I was like, what is going on? And that's why, like, I sent her an email and then I went back and sent her another email. And and because I was like, oh, I like, I found all these things. And I, it was just confusing. So anyway. Oh, yeah. You know. Uh -huh. I'm not very bright. <laughs> so disregard Kim. Yeah, I think we are. I'll, I'll double check it later, but we're good as far as, you know, as far as today and stuff. So I apologize for that. <laughs> Leticia, you got it, Leticia. And I'm going to add some stuff with this for you, Leticia. If you like black and white patterns, I'll see if I have a small, like uh, another one to put in with it or something to put in with that's black and white pattern. might have another small one like that size okay next up this is one that i kept aside for a while because i was going to possibly keep it but because i really liked it i said it much. i love the flowers <laughs> Hi, Tina. I love those flowers there. I like the lime greenness of it. I love it. Or the apple green or whatever you want to call it. Not really lime green. I guess it's more like Granny Smith apple green. I just liked all the colors in it. It's pretty. Please. What type of fabric is that made of mostly? Is that oh, it's all different, I think. All different? Yeah, there's like uh, cotton, linen, polyester blends. Um, polyester rayon blends, polyester viscous blends, polyester cotton blend, uh, polyester linen, rayon and cotton, rayon polyester. So it's like stuff like that. Um, it's all different polyester rayon. They're nice and a lot more nice and soft. Polyester rayon, rayon okay. cotton. Gotcha. Hmm. Oh, the Leticia just had made a comment up there just in case you didn't see it. So, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. This one's linen cotton. So, it depends. They're all different. Well, not all different. Mostly rayon polyester cotton seems to be the seems to be the the main doohickey here. The main trend. Cotton. This one's cotton. And then it has spun polyester in the embroidery. Stuff like that. So we'll start this at four bucks. Okay. Go. All right, I'll be right back. Let me go look over here for something.
grass. You're doing what, what? Jenny? Huh? What? I said, are you working on clay? Oh, yes. Like a part of me. Almost the man, the little man face done. <laughs> Except for Oh, did you? The lips look a little funny. So I'm kind of working on those. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta give him a kiss. Make his lips. That'll make his lips better. He looks mean though. Does he? Yeah, kind of that that wicked mean potato, potato head. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head with anger issues. Really? <laughs> it's like a mean man. <laughs> well, some could be happy. Some could be, you know, creepy looking. <laughs> Chris got it. Chris, 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 Chris. Chris got it. She's got it down. Oh, my well, pretty wrong to do a giveaway. We don't do a giveaway. We should do some giveaways. Give them away. Who's going to be the wiener? Let's see. Who's going to be the wiener? My little gypsy. <laughs> Little gypsy, you want a phone a phone kit? You can make some cute little animals. Oh. Stick them on cards or something. Mm -hmm. Start blue. Mm -hmm. All the pieces are in there. How cute is that? See who else is gonna win something. one it's a cute little lion and a cute little zebra is that a zebra that's a zebra yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. okay we'll do another mm -hmm. that I have with the cute little animals. Congrats, congrats. Cute little foam kids. We'll do some more giveaways in a little while. All right. Get all the little fuzzies off the desk from the fabrics. All right, I have a set of cards that I made. Well, it's not a set, really, because they're all different. <laughs> so, they're not a set, but they are a set. Yeah. So, the first one is this one. I watercolored that. Cool. It is the moon over mountains, and then we got planets, and, like, a Saturn planet. We got, like, a... a um, a comet and stars if it'll focus. Looks so cool. Mm -hmm. Like a river. 
And then inside, you can write your sentiment or whatever you want, or write your message. Did you find them? Mm, yes. <laughs> oh, I can't find this. I can't sign this one because it's black. I'd have to put. I'll have to put something on that to do it. <laughs> but I'll sign you. I was like, mm, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's great. See, I signed it. This one. <laughs> <laughs> this one is says follow your dreams. It's got a watercolor background with some stars and a little glitter and a moon. This is follow your dreams. And it's blank inside. As an envelope, <laughs> I'm not signing my card right now. See, this one's already signed, <laughs> <laughs> and this one here has also a watercolor background with some embossing and then some embossed and popped up cut out butterflies and sparkles. And it has just some little butterflies there. It says, thanks for being a friend. It says, hello on that side. Mm -hmm. And lastly, and my favorite, is this one. It has a little bit of glitter on. It says, laughter. And then it says, dare to have fun. And then treasure each day. And then it has, like, inside, it's a funky card. We'll start these off at five bucks. Robin wants to know what you're used to painting on, like what kind of paper. Oh, I, I usually use watercolor paper. Like these are all watercolor paper. Um, because I put it's layered on top of card stock or whatever. But. Okay, sorry. Little gypsy, you got it, little gypsy.
Alright. Next up, I have. Mm -hmm. Another fabric sample book. Okay, Shell. Alright, Shell. Have a good day. Yeah. This one has lots of color. Mm. Well, thank you. Carrie Ann and everybody. I appreciate it. This one has a lot of pinks. And it's got like yellows and greens. And a bit of tealy color. Yellows. Yes, greens. Tina got the three tiered tray yesterday. She said she loved it. Oh, awesome. It got there safe. Mm -hmm. Good. Did you yeah. see how much bubble wrap I put on? He could have bounced that off a building. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she did. <laughs> Like wrinklies. Crinklies? There's all kinds of good stuff in there. <laughs> Gets to be on the safe side, you know. I would probably do that too. This one's sparkly. Yeah. Wrinklies? For metallic on there. Strings hanging off of here. Why I don't know because they're not part of it really. They're just under that stitch, I guess. Stuck under the stitch. Oh, <laughs> what? Now I need a holiday one. <laughs> well, I know I'll have to make some around the holidays. Yeah. We'll start this at five bucks. Go. I'll be able to find more plates that are holiday related probably closer to the holidays as I go to the different like thrift shops and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I did see a few, I think, while I was there, I, you know getting some but not a whole lot and you need some like different sizes and different sh you know shapes and stuff are nice to do that with some more stuff from my fairy garden. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. Got a couple little things. I got a couple cool rocks and mm. what else did I get? I don't remember. A couple little things. Little things. Little doodads. Hey. From my fairy garden. It's always fun. Why didn't you decorate? Yeah, I gotta get out there and get that done, but I got other things that gotta be done. At least they're planted, you know, the flowers are planted in it. Now I just need to Yeah. Get the other stuff in it. Right. Get the good stuff in it. Get the fun good stuff. stuff. Like my little fairies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, Letitia, you got it. Letitia, 26. 
And again, I will try to add some stuff to that. There's a gnat in here. Go away. Follow me. I'll try to get that. Not that. I will try to find some stuff to add to that as well. Whoa. Pretty and pink. All right. Next up. Hi, Diane. So I have these books that are vintage, uh, like storybooks, kind of. Some of you might have seen like things like this. I think these would be cool to take them and make journals out of them because the covers are cool with the, the cool graphic, I think, on there. And, you know, you can incorporate some of the pages. You've seen people do that before. And you can obviously cut the cover and put the three rings in it and make it so you can make it thicker. And, you know... And so I've got this one, True Book of Farm Animals. I just like, I thought the covers are cool. Would make really cool journal covers. And of course, you can incorporate some of the pictures and stuff from the A few pictures in there in your journal. I've seen these done all the time. I always see them. Like on Etsy, or I see people make these and sell them where they make the journals out of these type of books. And so I was able to get some. And then we have this one, The Shoemaker and the Elves. <laughs> Look at this little naked butt. Oh, Isn't that that's cute? cute. Oh, my God. It's too cute. <laughs> so. So the little books, some of them have little library cards in the back. So you can keep that in there. And this one never was checked out. Oh, poor book. <laughs> well, it did actually it was there. 1976, 1970. Yeah, I don't know if all of them have that in the back, but some of yeah, this one does too. This one was checked out from 1963 to 1967. And this one was checked out a lot. All the way up to 1990. Wait, what is that? Give me my glasses. Someone check this out in 1990 something? Hmm. It's in the church library, apparently. 1992, yeah. The last, before that, it wasn't checked out since 1976. So this Daniel person must have made the book very happy. Wow. <laughs> oh, anyway. Yeah. The book. That's cool. Oh, did you? See, I, I know that I have several of, like, of these little books, and I know that somebody's going to say, oh, I knew that book. I've seen that book. I had that book on some of these, I'm sure. But anyway, I was going to start this at three bucks. Three books for three bucks. I think somebody would enjoy making some journals out of these. Yeah. <laughs> around here. Hmm. It looks like a witch. Hmm. Hmm. 
Vamos ver aqui. See, like the, the I found one here. Um, Rose. Somebody made out of a old book. Let's see how they take some of the story book and use it in the book and use the pages and and then add pages to it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And then There's another one. Uh, another cool looking one. That one's pretty cool looking. Folk tales from many lands, and they made it into a journal. I don't think there's any other pictures with it. But anyway, yeah, you get the idea. You can make cool journals with those. Yeah. Deborah, you got it, Deborah. That'll be fun. Very cool. Yeah, I think so. What is going on behind me? Something fell. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I've got three more. This one's called My Five Senses. <laughs> oh, you got it on me too. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, it does that whenever I, uh, whenever I go to share the screen. For some reason, it backs out to. And then this one's my hands. Keep oh. my hands. <laughs> Hello, Janie. Cute. And this one is a visit to the hospital. Okay, Leticia. This kid's got no pants on. So it looks Ooh, like that's nice. We wear shorts with a jacket. Oh, that's cute. Visiting from Texas? Cool. Hi, Craft Princess. That's Janie. Hi, Janie. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Janie. So, I know that. Yeah. Brain farted. This one's yeah. cute. This is all about visiting the doctor. Again, they have usually have library card things in the back of them. Anyway, we'll start these off at three bucks. Make you some journals. Cool. Oh, in the, oh, okay. In the Air Force? That's neat. Oh, cool. That is cool. Yeah. You know, you gotta see what you're missing. <laughs> I always have all kinds of things. Oh, yeah. A variety. All different. Definitely a variety. Mm -hmm. Don't lack variety, that's for sure.
Okay, so I'll move Judy. 30 seconds. That's what they practice here because the airport, the Luke Air Force Base is not that far from us. And oh, <laughs> they are, well, you can imagine. I'm like, oh, geez, they are really, they're flying tonight and they're so loud. Oh my gosh. But, yep, <laughs> they practice sometimes. Anyway. All right, let's see. Miss Tina. You got it, Tina. Next up, I have a Arteza pencil set, colored pencil set. It says expert. I don't know if that means they're like for experts to use only, <laughs> but I believe they're all here. Just, yeah, there's something extra in here though. Because it is extra. that color? I don't know. Is it two of the same? Nope, they're different colors. I don't know. There's more than what it says. I don't know if there's 72 here because is there supposed to be a third one, I think? Maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's 48, 49 of the 72, so there's 49 of the 72. That's why this one's not extra. It's just... There's nothing underneath that other one? No. No. It's all the way to the bottom. Oh, uh, just a... Yeah. Hmm, nice pencils. Nice pencils, regardless. Mm -hmm. they, do, they do color real nice. Real nice. Who needs more than 49? I know, right? If you need more than 49, you're crazy. Right, Debbie? <laughs> Janie has a couple sets. She said she, she would get them if she had. I had a couple sets already. Oh, they look pretty. Look at that. They are pretty. <laughs> All right, Janie. All right, we'll start these off at four bucks for the set. Of 49. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go. You may have as many as Debbie. <laughs> She's buying all those pencils, I think. Funny. They give you a lot of pigment for your stroke, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you call it. Because, like, there's a, it, it, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I tell, I tell that they're decent, you know, because if, if you have to, like, really pound on the paper to get, you know, something out of them, then no. Like, but I barely have to do anything. You can get a lot of color payoff, I guess they want to call it. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty. Need more than 49? <laughs> well. 
Well, I have uh, the 268 up there <laughs> packed for you. Ooh, that's my favorite color out of the batch. I like that one. Yeah. But hey, get you some Artisma. Oh, this one, the thing is broke, so it's not going to color very well. Oh, there we go. Tip is broke on that one a little bit. <clears throat> they do color very nice. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Yeah, they do cover very well. better when I don't have it on this table that has like a, a, a what do you call it texture to it oh yeah it's, it's like my kitchen table that I blendable it's just worth it <laughs> they blend that one's very light color anyway Renee, you got it for eight, Miss Renee. Got you some expert pencils. some more of those books this one's called the birthday present you know this will make a good gift for somebody if you turn to this into like a journal for them you know yeah that'd be cool we all gave you sloppy joes uh oh you got you got the wonderful story of how you were born you need to learn the birds and the bees. Here it is. Using animals as usual. This will be a cute journal to make for a child or grandchild. Because then you can add like pictures of them when they were a baby and blah, blah, blah. Make a cute little journal. This one's called Simon Called Peter. <clears throat> This one is Joel the Potter's son. All right, we'll start these off at three books or four books. I know, right? What's with the platypus? I'm comparing a baby to a platypus. Thank you. 
Fujito. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. came to be written. <laughs> this one is from 1954, so 40s and 50s. Rose, um, you you have you didn't pay the last time you bid on stuff. Uh, and I emailed you, and you you never emailed me back. You need to pay immediately when you're new, and I never got any payment. And so uh, if you're going to bid, you have to be prepared to pay for your items right away, Miss Rose. <clears throat> Val, you got him, Val. I don't know who that who that is, but that's a lot. <laughs> it must be curious. Oh, I love yeah, I love Curiosity Inc. They're the ones that did that. We talked about them once before. They're the ones that did the auction. Of, they went into this house and they bought all the contents of the house, and then they and then they turned around and sold it at auction and stuff. Ooh. Yeah. And they're really, I, I, he does like all kinds of antique stuff, and you know he has a store, and he, they live in Canada. <laughs> oh, Laura, you're funny. It's an otter. Laura says she's got a slot to spend. <laughs> That's funny. What? Laura said you got a slot dispenser. I said it's an otter. <laughs> slot. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'd like a sloth dispenser. That's kind of funny. Yeah, I know. I like sloths too. But no, he's an otter. He's an otter. That was funny though. I like it. Okay, JT. <laughs> you need to drive up to the toilet. Coffee drinkers are demanding half and half and, and creamers. Well, you tell the coffee drinkers to go get off their butt and go get it. <laughs> what do they think they are? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of otters. Cool. Is, she sold her house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fun for Ozzy. Ozzy the otter. I see the otter. There's lots of otter pictures. Look, that one looks just like that one. That's him. His name is Ozzy. We have to name him Ozzy. Look, oh, papers are folded. We'll name him Ozzy. Ozzy the otter tape dispenser. <laughs> That's cute. They do, look like carrots, though. they do look like carrots when they do stuff like that, for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we've got a turtle. This book is, what's the name of this book? Let's Go Outdoors. And this one has all kinds of bugs and tadpoles and critters and crawlers. <laughs> all your friends. Right. This one Ooh, is so from 1939. Ooh. 1939, that one. And then we got this one. This one is. Twist, Wiggle, and Squirm, a book about earthworms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a frog eating an earthworm. There's my frog tape dispenser. Where'd it go? There it is. 
And I was just thinking, I wonder when Rebecca's coming home. She's probably going to come home soon. <laughs> and there she is. Home and ready to shop. Is she here? Hi, Rebecca. Uh-huh. Oh, hello. All right. So we've got three cute books for three bucks. We'll start the bidding at three. Make you some cute journals. Go. Well, I'm glad for you, Zoe. I'm glad you got rid of it. What'd you get rid of? What happened? For a uh, house in two days. <gasps> oh, nice. Yep. Awesome. Very, very cool. Congrats. That is, that's nice. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, the Otter. That's what I'm naming him. His name is Ozzy. <laughs> you need the turtle beef and mosquitoes. You in trouble, Missy. Doing that? I can't pick you up. I have some rookie. What'd she do? She's in trouble. She's for. Keep pawing me and pawing me. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? She wants your attention. She wants it now. I know she wants to sit up here, and Ricky's up here, and he will get very upset. But if I put him down, he'll get upset because she wants to play. Uh, baby. Oh my goodness gracious! Really? Here. I can fit a bed over here, but here. Okay. You both, you both can lay there. JD, you got it, JD. How did I know you were going to get that? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was her. Speaking up, she won it up on my lap. Hey, do not pick on the Ricky. Sit down. <laughs> Whoever did I guess? Yay, JD. <laughs> However, did I guess? Sorry, Red. Next up. I got boxes. Relative. We got this box here. Looks like a cherry colored box. Good to be altered. I don't know what was in the little clips in the top here, but maybe there are cigars. Is this a cigar box? Yeah. It's a cater collection. Yeah, probably. I know this is another cigar box. There's another nice, very nice wood box. Probably have fancy cigars in it. It even has a little thing on the button, on the thing there. Is that cool? Inside, obviously, the insert you can pull this out, it's just glued in, but that's a nice velvet insert there. You can take that out or leave it, but nice, huh? And in this box here, somebody already tried to decorate, but you can obviously take it apart. Or whatever you want. Just so it painted, cover it do whatever you want with it we'll start these at four bucks for three boxes no zoe said she got three thousand dollars over the asking price cash no inspections nice 
pretty cool. Very nice. Well, you can't get any more perfect, right? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Congrats. Yeah. You got thirty thousand over. Oh, nice! Even more nice. Oh, yeah. It, oh, it's a seller's market out there, man. Take that money, you put it into your new house. I wish I could buy another house and be able to sell this one and so you know, but I can't find another house for the money I would get out of this one that I can you know pay for free and clear which would be nice oh yeah I know mm -hmm. I'm sorry <laughs> sorry sorry I see you yeah. put zero there you know Jeez. I'm sure you wasn't good in math <laughs> just kidding oh my god yeah. Right, yeah. It's a nice and big house, that's for sure. Okay, I'm not sure if Rose is not hearing me, but um, Rose, you can't bid right now because you're not you didn't pay for your last lot of things. So I'm gonna remove your bid. Because you're not responding to me when I let you know that I need you to because the last time you bid on stuff you didn't you never paid for it I couldn't get a hold of you your email I emailed you and I didn't get anywhere so unfortunately I can't let you bid on anything Carla, you got it, Carla. She's cruising. Uh, frozen. Carla. Pretty, pretty. Uh, yeah, sometimes she is. <laughs> I'm what? Like, uh, freezing up a little. I am? Yeah. Oh. And then you go back. I mean, it's like sometimes two seconds, mm. really, just you know. But oh yeah, yeah. Let me know anytime that's going on. Hmm. She gets freed. I might have a way to fix that. Mm. Let me. Uh... Well, after the next one, I'll run up and I'll move my router a little bit. I think if I move it in a better place, it'll pick up better. So after I show the next things, I'll go upstairs and do that. It rains every day. Yeah. Sounds like. Alright, I have this other item in the box. It is called Scrap Boss. It's an embossing system. Um, and what you do is... Yeah. 
So what you do is you take these little pegs here. It's like brand new because everything's still in the package and stuff. Stacy? Yeah. There's a, a message from Rose right there. I can read it. From Rose? I don't have these. The only message I got was for the, for the $10 I paid. I don't know if I sent the wrong email. Sure. I just got my paper. Uh, I never got uh, the ten dollars that you paid for anything. Um, I wonder if it went to that ad, that wrong lady. Oh, yeah, it could have. And then, oh, it okay. And keep, yeah, okay. I think I know what you're right, Jenny. I think I know what mm -hmm. happened. There is another lady on, there's another lady on, on, uh, PayPal that has the name Pink Poodle Crafts. You have to make sure that you're putting in my full email address, not just Pink Poodle Crafts. Because when you um, when you put in just Pink Poodle Crafts, something might come up, but it's not me. So you got to make sure you're putting my full email address in when you make a payment. Because otherwise, that lady gets it, and then she ends up refunding it. She's said she's been refunding people um, yeah. who did that. So it's important that you. Um, do that so okay so yeah you can bid then i, I apologize for that happening you got to make sure you go in there. the rules janie can you pop the rules in there if you go yeah. to the rules there's my email addresses in there and also there should be a link in there too when it talks about how to pay that'll go right to my paypal and it's really important that you use my whole email address when you're paying me and not just pink poodle crafts you have to put in pink poodle crafts at gmail.com otherwise it will not come to me um and that's what the, must have been what happened because that lady said she's working on changing her name i had told her probably three years ago yeah. one time because i had come across her channel and it said pink poodle crafts i think it's a pink poodle crafts studio or something but it was pink poodle crafts and i had messaged her and said and of course my channel was much bigger than hers and i said to her i said i just wanted to let you know that you might have a problem with that name if you try to you know keep that as your name on youtube i said because what's going to happen is if you tell people go see pink poodle craft studio on youtube what's going to happen is they're going to put in pink poodle craft studio and my name is coming up because i had a more uh, channel you know my channel had more views and stuff so my channel was coming up and i felt bad that that was happening to her. So I said to her, you might want to think about changing your name so that it's not so close to mine that people are all coming to my channel when they put in Pink Poodle Craft Studio. It still comes up with my channel because you can put it in right now on YouTube, search Pink Poodle Craft Studio, and my name still comes up most of the time, like at the top. So I told her, I said, you know, it might be a good idea to change that. Well, she emailed me back and said, I'm not changing. I've had it, blah, blah, blah. And I said, okay, that's fine. I was just letting you know. I didn't want her to get, you know, people taken away from her site you know well it turns out now she's trying to change it because this is happening with the paypal because she had her paypal set as pink poodle crafts she had her youtube set so she's now changing everything because it was it kept going to you know going to my channel so i apologize for that uh rose because i didn't know that that was happening to you um and i didn't realize it all i knew was i wasn't getting any payment and then i had i had emailed but i didn't get a response so i was like confused and i just thought maybe you know i don't know and yeah, she said refund i'm like oh i wonder if that was you know like she did yeah not that long ago that yeah she came in like two auctions ago i think it was yeah. and let let him let me know that she was getting payments from other people and that she was refunding them mm -hmm. so yeah so make sure when you're putting your payment in for my paypal that you're putting in my full email address before you're you know hitting the thing this way it'll it'll make sure it's going to me yeah. but it's so weird yeah. okay well so you don't want the white box what's the which one's the white box you mean the one with the that had those mirrors on the front of it that's fine carla mm. yeah it's crazy that youtube that paypal you know allows that to pop up like that but uh, but anyway you put your paper under here obviously you're going to put paper under there and then you got styluses styluses 
And there's a book in here too that shows you how to do it. But there's two different styluses in the book, and you put your paper in there, and then you you rub on the thing, and it you know lets you. Oh, are you supposed to do both of them? Oh, maybe you're supposed to do both of them. There's two that go together. Oh, I see. They go on top of each other, I guess. I'd have to take that out and redo it. But, yeah, they go on top of each other for whatever reason. But it tells you how to do it. And there's, like, the stylus and stuff. And what it can do is it does, like, stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. You can do that with your cardstock and stuff. Oh, wow. So you can make designs and whatnot. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, that teaches you how to do it. I'm sure there's a video out there, too, that'll show you how to do it. Oh, really? Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, whenever somebody, you know, whenever somebody's starting a YouTube uh, account, they should make sure, you know, and want to do videos, they should definitely make sure that their, their channel name that they're deciding on is not like somebody else's because even if that person, you know, doesn't only has a little bit more subscribers than you, it's, if they've been around longer, it's going to go to that channel more. So it's, it's better to, you know, it's better to make sure that you're picking a unique name. Because YouTube will let you have the same name as somebody else, which sucks. You know, so somebody else can have the exact same name as you. And, you know, but, yeah, but PayPal is, you know, they don't let you have the same name, but the names are so close. They should let you, you know, make it so that you have to use, like, I don't know, some sort of other way to do it or something, but... I know. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully we got that straightened out. <laughs> um, but don't send me the ten dollars rose because I don't even know if I have those things anymore that you had gotten because it was a while ago. I just I never heard from you, and so I just assumed, you know. But if you want to buy something today, that's that's you're all good then. Um, I didn't know that was the situation. We had to kind of decode that, I guess, figure it out. <laughs> but anyway, we'll start this off at uh, at six bucks. Okay. Yeah, maybe we should go back to the other name and show me. Uh, Janie had her name in there. Go, and that, and then she changed it. She was maybe I should go back to the other one and have her name in there because uh, it's so close. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, if there's any other people that are craft person, princess or DIY on a budget and more, yeah, you might want to add your name back into it just for the simple fact that it'll come up because unfortunately YouTube's the way that the search is, is awful and it should bring, they should have a separate search for the channel name and then for the subject you know what i mean yeah. because what sucks is if people put in certain channel names if they don't have a lot of subscribers or i can't find it because it, youtube wants to bring up all kinds of videos instead they're not bringing up channel names unless it's a really like a channel that has more than like five thousand subscribers or something so that kind of sucks. So YouTube needs to have a separate area, a separate search box just for searching for specific channels. Because it gets really annoying to, you know, try and search for a channel. Because if it's a smaller channel, you're not going to find it very easily at all. Which is really frustrating. Yeah. But, you know, that's how YouTube is, frustrating. Yep. Oh, really, Shelly? Ugh. Yeah. That's crazy. People do stupid things. But, uh, it's annoying. Honestly, I would keep it at Janie the Craft Princess and leave it at that. Because if you start making your name so long, then it, it basically it makes it complicated. Do you know what I mean? 
I think that Janie the Craft Princess is a unique name and yeah. Yeah. enough, and that's all you need to do. You know what I mean? Like you could put the DIY crafts and more in your channel descriptions or something like that. But yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, your name, I think you should make it create with Becca, but yeah, you, you know, you, at the same time, you, yeah, you can't, you, you're having an issue with the, the thing. It, it's just, it, it's hard because you have to find something unique at the same time, you know, I don't know, it's, it's a pain in the butt. Chris, you got it, Chris. Hey, Amy. What are you doing, Amy? Hi, Amy. <laughs> well, you tell them to come to me, I'll kick their ass. Oh, you did, Zoe? I know. Right. Right. Giveaways. Yeah, I've everything. <laughs> Giveaways. Oh, good. Well, well. I'll add that to your envelope. <laughs> Now add your giveaway to your envelope. You've got a cute little Apple notebook. Oh, for real. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta pick again. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good idea too, Janie, because name before. Well, oh, nope. We go. <laughs> All right, my butt. Pick somebody new now. <laughs> new person. In a poop, poop head. <laughs> no being a poop head. Telling me what to do. Yeah, right. Getting snotty in his old age. You won. <laughs> well, now he's. <laughs> Come on, that Nightbot. Irritating. Go and see now. <laughs> Go and see now. I'm telling you, he's losing it. <sighs> Don't kick my ass now. <laughs> Thanks, I won. Woo <laughs> woo. I'm the winner. Linda, Linda, Linda. Linda. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Hello, little chip. <laughs> Linda won a bag of scraps. You got some scrap papers, some some scrapbook papers, and some other little papers in here. You got a scrap bag, Miss Linda. <laughs> Big old scrap bag. For your crafting needs. We all need scrap bags. 
All right. Let's let Nightbot sit in a timeout while we go on to the next things. <laughs> well, hugs to you. Have fun with your visit. Oh, bye. Bye, Janie. Enjoy time with your daughter. Doing good, Dana. How are you doing? Hey, Dana. All right. Cool. I have some. Uh, fabric items here. Let's see if we've got. This piece here. Some. That's right. I'm going on vacation. Uh, yeah. Vacation? Or? I have some blue, whatever you call this. They had a sticker on it. When I pulled it off, it did that. But hey, Marcia. obviously, there's plenty of it here to do other stuff with if you're just going to use it for crafty purposes. There's a couple spots like that that must have happened to. Not a lot, but a few. I think just those, actually. Hey, Marcia, Marcia. But, it's blue and it's shiny and metallic and you can do all kinds of things with it yeah i think there's those little spots that one and the other little ones and then there is some fur furry soft not real fur obviously but mm. soft and somebody cut something out of it and then left that but that would make a nice journal real soft fuzzy. soft and fuzzy mm -hmm. oh Hi, Marsha. And lastly, we've got this interesting piece here, which is like a nice red shifty kind of piece. And it's a good, oh, it's over a yard. So, some cool fabrics. Okay, Steph. There is this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we'll start these at four bucks. I'm gonna get you some blue metallic, some white fuzzy, this pretty dark teal one here, and this red color shift or like a burnt kind of orangey red color shift. Great. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately it's not velvet, but every time I go over there, whatever I can see, I keep looking to see if there's any blue velvet. <laughs> Okay, no chatting in the in the in the during the bidding, please. You look some more for other things and blue velvet too. Hello, Meek. Nice to see you. Shifty shift. That's what it is. Look at that. Blue is pretty too. I did not see any yet. I did not see any blue velvets. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me run upstairs. I'll fix that thing. I'll be right back. Okay. Is Stacy lagging? I don't think so. Okay, no. Why?
<laughs> I remember that song too. Well, if Stacy's lagging, then I'm lagging. <laughs> I don't think so. But. How are you doing, Monique? Well, the clouds come and go so quick around here. <laughs> it looked like it was going to rain. Now it doesn't. Not a cloud in the sky. What the heck? I don't know. Thanks, Chris. Hmm. Okay, let's see if that's any better. I kind of fixed, like arranged it a little bit. Oh, who won? Who won? Did not see. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha won. I think. Huh? Oh. Marsha oh. won. Marsha. Oh. That's what you get for having a long name. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, I ran into that problem because of her name, because it's so long at the end. <laughs> Who else used to do that? Was it Tammy? Yeah, it was Tammy Porter with her name. And we could never get the one because she <laughs> her little bit at the end. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Stacy, hopefully it'll be better. What? Oh, I well, said you only wanted the gold box. Oh, you only want the one box? Oh, okay. You sure you only wanted that one? Okay. Oh, Chris, you probably needed it. Like am I still freezing up or am I am I good now? Seems Better. like it's good to me, yeah. Okay, good. Let me know if I am freezing up though. Okay. I've got this cool Kentucky Woods bourbon barrel cake thing. It's a lid to something, but it's cool. I thought somebody'd like to hang it up or do something with it. Or just paint over it. Kind of groovy. I've got a giant ball made of whatever that is woven twine i don't know what that is stuff like basket stuff Can I box? pick it up and chuck it somebody at somebody you got a teeny wing basket isn't it cute can you box a lot of box and the car the one she wants Buy the lot of box, that's what you mean? Buy. Oh, that would be cool, Chris. Um, which is the one that she got? Wait. Oh, I didn't write it down even. No, hold on. I didn't write hers down anyway. Wasn't going to get nothing. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so Carla, the three wood boxes. 
I don't remember how much it was even. Carl, do you remember how much it was? Twelve. Oh, it was twelve? Okay. Yeah. You sure you want to do that, Chris? Hi, Chris. It's very kind that way, I tell you. You know, we'll do with her. Chris. What are we going to do with you, huh? Let me get that up here then. Mm -hmm. Well, here's what I'll do. That's on Carlos. That's will be. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is I'll make this one a number. I'll make hers with 18. <laughs> Don't argue with her, Carla. With Chris, mm -hmm. uh -huh. she'll come get you. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay. I think we got it settled. Yes. Settled. <laughs> Monique says, my mom phoned and still talking. Did I win? No, you didn't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was funny, though. <laughs> okay. So we got the ball. We got this thing. We got the basket. And then we got this basket. Isn't that cute? Little, little oh. basket. And then we have this basket. One of those little thick woven baskety things. Okay, then yeah. we have this basket. Oh, my goodness. And then we have this basket. Oh. We got baskets galore. We have this basket inside of that basket, inside of that basket, inside of that basket with this basket there, and the ball and the lid. So we'll start these off at four bucks for baskets and the lid. And such in the ball. Go. Oh, the, the one, two, three, four, five baskets. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, Stephanie. <laughs> pretty cool. What? What'd she do? Her, uh, sent me a picture of her nail station, <gasps> and it mm. is like nice. Very cool. Well, let me guess, she's not going to send me the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty seconds. Sorry for no. No, no, no. Look like three. It's very relaxing.
Two basket. Chris got it. You got it, Chris. Well, you're quick, Linda. Cottage core style? I don't, I don't know if I know what that is. Cottage oh, core? Thanks, Dana. Cottage core? Oh, you did? Oh, cool. She said it to me, too. She thinks I'm special enough to see it. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what it... I do. I like the look, cottage look. I do have. Cottage have a lot of books on yeah, I, I know what the cottage. Yeah, I know what the cottage looks. Cottage decor type stuff looks like, but I don't know what cottage core is. Yeah. Is that a new thing? Yeah. All right. I have a fabric sample book that is really pretty. This one I really loved and almost kept because it's got these beautiful mm -hmm. flowers and it's got a lot of really nice stuff in it. Got some watercolory stuff. It's got these like little llamas. Can you see them? Isn't that cute? French country. Oh. Oh, okay. I know French country pretty well. And I like that one. It's so. I like that soft too. <laughs> I know Linda, I'm that way though. I don't want all, like a lot of stuff hanging around. I mean, you know, not, never mind. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's decor, not just. I love the watercolory flowers. Mm. I think that's the last one. Yeah, we'll start this at four bucks. I just love that one. That's my favorite out of all of them. That one and the watercolor ones are nice. Loves them. That sounds really pretty. Very pretty. Go. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> it goes with Becca, aka Linda. I mean, not Linda. Karen. Rebecca did some Googling. She did. <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah, I, dec I helped decorate uh, the ladies' living room and dining room in a French country mm -hmm. theme years ago. Years ago. Okay. But. I've not heard that one. <laughs> Sophia wants to eat my clay. That's why she wants to sit up here, don't you? Okay. 
Three seconds. Yep, that was back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. The early 90s had the country blue and like mauve or like that kind of country pink color, the dusty rose. Yep. I had a living, my, my, my very first house that I ever rented, mm -hmm. I had my living room done like that, mostly because my mm -hmm. sister gave me a bunch of stuff that was from her house. That was her house. Joy, you got it, Joy. Mm -hmm. oh, put back your paper. Oh, five, oh, months, five months. Oh. Sorry. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, my. 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 Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, Lizzie. Oh. All right, we got some glitter. We got some green glitter that has like some cool iridescence to it. We got some red glitters, really pretty red. We got some glitter glues. These are actually mine. This one's a glitter glue. It's got some really pretty color shift in that. And then a steel glitter glue and a silver glitter glue. And then we got some chunkier red glitter. We got some chunkier silver glitter. Which I had to put a piece of tape over the top of that. Yeah. Not too cool. Okay. Now we can do that. We have got some clear glitter. Put some more tape on that. Because that's just not cutting it. And we've got some other gold glitter. And we've got some other chunkier, clear iridescent glitter. We've got some more red glitters. More silver and some green. Gold and blue. And this like multicolor glitter. All right, we'll start these at three bucks. And you'll be glitter tastic. Go. That's the type of thing that gives me an instant headache. And I don't get headaches. <laughs> but it's like what? Whoa, that bam, you know, that her barking. It just oh number one takes you off guard and then it's so loud and it just yeah. I know. Boy, oh boy. I know. When when he does that too, and I can't stand it. Oh. <laughs> if I go upstairs right now, as soon as I get to the top of the stairs, she'll start barking at me because she won't realize it's me. She forgets or something, or she wakes up out of a dead sleep and doesn't realize. Because her yeah. brain just works so fast that all she's thinking about is protection at all times. Right. So even if I come up the stairs, she's not used to me coming up the stairs, so she'll bark. <laughs> it's very annoying. <laughs> yeah. I get it. She's doing her job, but it's very annoying <laughs> when she's doing her job a little too good. <laughs> well, yeah, and with the dog, I mean, like with these dogs, if one, one barks, they'll all bark. I mean, it doesn't matter. If, and nothing will be there, but. Yep. And like, you bark some days it's just like barking and barking and barking like oh my gosh 
Yeah, that's like here. One one barks and then Tigger barks. Luckily, Willow doesn't really bark. Oh, that's good. Mm. She'll bark when she's playing some, but yeah, she doesn't bark at the door. She just sits there and lets them deal with it. She just wants to wag her tail and try to get somebody to give her attention. Oh. <laughs> Chloe has a that's shrieky, one. shrieky bark. Yeah, that's really cool. very shrieky. I can't stand it. Yeah. I say that she yells, she screams. Right. She's like, ah! like that. I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, Chloe's ears. Stop. Stop. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. Like a little mouthy. Yeah. We call her the mouth of the South. <laughs> Kim, you got it. <laughs> mouth of the South is what I call her. Whoa. She does not know how to shut up. <laughs> now I got some clothes on my desk. Unwanted glitter assault. Stacy made me spit my coffee out. <laughs> that is cute. Okay. You're gonna clean that up, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, where's my paper towel? Because now I gotta clean the glitter off my desk. Excuse me, Otter. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I got some stuff. I got a cool notebooky thing. Somebody wrote in it. Giant robot chopper tiki bar styrofoam. Sling together, attaching it. I have no idea what the hell that means, but anyway, one page is used. Otherwise, got a bunch of blank pages in there. I have a a pink composition notebook and I've got a 2020-2021 planner it's got stickers it's got calendar tabs and somebody wrote in some of the 2020 stuff but who cares it's not 2021 is all we count all that matters I mean there's hey. 2021 stuff back here um, so anyway, there's that. And then we got a couple more composition books. This one's a graph ruled, and it had a couple pages taken out, but still has tons of pages. Graph paper. And this one. Okay, perfect. Had a couple pages taken out there, but I use these as rare off paved papers, and then you can make them into journals afterwards. And there is some colored pencils. Colorific. Colorific colored pencils. Cool. So we got some notebooks and calendars and things. We'll start this at three bucks. Go. Yeah, but Winnie really does scream. That's what I call it because that's exactly what it sounds like. She'll wake you up out of a dead sleep thinking that somebody's screaming. Oh yeah. Okay, Chris. Yeah. Great. Oh. Oh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's really cute is all three of them play now together. 
they all have their faces together and like one bites one, one bites the other, one pushes one, one bites the other. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, really? <laughs> Sometimes they leave Chloe out, huh? Like now. That's not really nice, is it? They leave Chloe out. That's not nice. Don't tell them. Get in there. Come on, get in there. <laughs> Sweet precious head for Chloe. <laughs> Sometimes. Some journals, maybe some writing things. Somebody needs to write their feelings out, I think. Uh -huh. Use the colored pencils to do it. You can't have them then. <laughs> yep. Nope. Not done yet. Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have some foam stamps. I got some foam stamps in their package. This one's got cute little animals and things. And we've got a heart. We've got a four-sided doohickey foam stamp with sports stuff on it. We've got hearts and plus signs or X's and O's, I mean. Another heart. And then we've got a bag of Christmas-like ones. This one you can break apart. Put the stamps there. It's a little Santa Claus. A Christmas tree, a reindeer, a holly leaf thing, gingerbread, a present, or another little person, gingerbread person, a present, a reindeer, and a hoe. <laughs> and oh, and a light and a bulb. Oh, so those went in there. Those in that bag. Christmas tree ones went together. And then we have a goldfish, a teddy bear, a cool little bird, a turtle. A monkey key, a kitty cat, and a doggy. So we'll start these at five bucks. These are all brand new. Wow. Brand new for your stamping pleasure. <laughs> Go. Did you really have to do that? Rookie. Ricky has this now. What he's doing is he's holding um, Sophia down with his paw and giving uh -huh. her a face wash. <laughs> Ricky, oh wow! He's got his paw right on her. Like, stay there. <laughs> Jeez. Ugh. Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> I like that sloppy Joe mix on her face. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Silly. Let's go. Take time. Sloppy <laughs> <Lapidou>. Sophia. <laughs> oh. Hi, Jackie. Sometimes they both are like, I'm like, oh my God. Now what? Wait a minute. What is going on? Running 
across the floor? Because I hear that. Huh? Are they running across the floor? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. Like when they do this and they try to get oh, traction. No. <laughs> Go, yeah, that's what mine do too. <laughs> I recognize that sound. <laughs> Well, they get, they have a toy in their mouth, and they both have it, um, and they both run with it. <laughs> with it in their mouth. Yeah, we need to do that stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got them a couple of toys at the Creative Reef. Anytime I see little stuffed animals that I know that they'd like, I bring them home. Aww. Jacqueline, you got it, Jacqueline. <laughs> Congrats. You got it for 10, Jacqueline. Some stampin' up stamps. We have this set here which has flowers and some like they're like distressed looking and there's some leaves and another flower in there, like distressed looking and some delight. We've got this set here which has a tree and snowflakes, but it also has like these little pinwheelie flowers and bows. Might have been a combination set, like two put together. And then we have this set here, which I think is a combination set. It's got a sentiment there. Uh, it's like a little something just for you. I like the little denim pocket. It's really cute. And then we've got this one, which has all kinds of things. It has a basket. You can put all the little things in the basket and stuff. And then we've got this one, which has like baby carriage and a flower pot thing and a purse, and a little crown thing. It says thank you and baby. Uh oh, I just dropped some. Dang it. This one here is a bunch of little sentiments that are in there. And then there's a bunch of other little clear stamps in there, like birthday related. And this one says, like, dreams come true and jingle all the way. It has several different types of little things. Here's a giant tea. You need some tea? <laughs> it's a giant tea. Stamping up, too. We've got four shapes. And I've got some random stamps here. We've got a, a bird and a sun. And then we've got whatever fell on the ground over here. Get over here. We've got this stamp that says something. F L O R A. Flora Jewelry Company. I don't know. Oh, yeah. For making marks and stuff. Yeah. Acorn. A fairy with a butterfly. Oh. A stamp. This is Allison. So if you know somebody named Allison, and this is one of those stamps where you can change the little, you change the little dates and then the little saying. All right, we're going to start these off at 12 bucks because they do a lot of Stampin' Up stuff in here. Go. It can be an L. All you gotta do is just not stamp up. There you are. Look. Just stamp that part and you got a big L. Or you could take a, a razor yep. and cut, cut it. it. Off. Cut it off. Cut it and peel that off. Mm -hmm. And there you go. So your wish is my command. It's an L. <laughs> I mean, really, that's all you gotta do. Yep. Just make sure when you stamp it down, it's gonna be the right way. So you're not gonna stamp off this side, you're gonna stamp off the right side. Or cut off, I mean, you know, so that when you stamp it, it's the right way. 
And voila, so. you got stone. And I dry it out. But you're going to have to outbid T's Car Studio and Karen Thompson because they both, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they both want it. <laughs> Better known as Tanya. 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 And Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> The only other person that could outbid this group is Allison, but she ain't here. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's a full name right there. <laughs> no, but stamping up stamps. Totally worth it. Yeah. Plus the cases you get. Hello. I know. You store I stuff know. in. I found them to be very useful recently. I don't get it stamping up, but it costs enough to be it. <laughs> yeah. Three seconds. Karen Thompson, you got it. Karen T. <laughs> Karen Thompson had the first 17 before the stop. Thing you got, Karen? I think it is. Okay. okay. And then we've got some more foamy stamps. I've got a whole alphabet. They utilized all the little sides of the cube, which is a good idea. It's too compact. We've got this cool groovy alphabet. There's two, well, several things of it. Alphabets. we got more alphabets in here. Let me get it out and show you. Alphabet. And then there's another alphabet. And another alphabet. We got lots of alphabets. We're going to start this at five books. telling you. They're roughing it. Go. <laughs> Alphabetical thing. Let me grab something from over here.
Some more journaling things, but this time they're a little different. This one's actually a little photo album. I know people like to use these to put their small dies in or small um, stencils, so it'll be a good one for that. This one I got a long time ago at the Creative Reuse, and everybody wanted it when I showed it because it was so cute. It had it was made from a big disc, you know, like a floppy disc. Like remember the big ones back in the day? It was made yeah. from a. It says right here. It says writing journal with borders handmade in Northwest in the Northwest using floppy disk from the seventies and eighties and acid free recycled paper from 30% post consumer waste. Cool. Isn't that cool? How that little dragonfly they put in there. Yeah, that is cool. And there was a little label, I guess in there, but it says photo by G and L Strickland. Anyway, there's somebody wrote on that, but the paper is really cute. It's got little like, corners cute very cute little journal and it says also stuff more stuff about the journal i guess it was special i don't know then i've got this leather um journal here which is really cute these were all mine by the way these were mine that i in my d stash when i was just cleaning out my closet these are some of the ones i got rid of that i did not want to get rid of but i got rid of this one's got really pretty, pretty paper in it. Really nice, heavy, cream colored paper. It does have a couple pages that were ripped out, but not very many, probably two or three at best, because it's still very full. And I just love this. It's really pretty, this leather. leather journal is really nice for, you know, and it had a little pen plot. Very nice. And then there's this one, which is made of leaves or something. Oh. Yeah, too. And it's the cover, so you can always put back another notebook in there when it was when it's done. Tree tribe made in, made in Thailand from teak leaves. Every piece is unique. Wow. So yeah. join the tribe. You can go to their website. But yeah, this one's got some nice little notebook. It's got a little thing for you know putting your page. And then this one. This one was also mine because I like the paper in it. SLS Strategic Learning Solutions. Uh, I just liked it. I was going to redecorate this because it's like a thick chipboard. So I was going to make it into something. Anyway, we'll start these off at three bucks. But yeah, when I first got this and showed it to everybody, they're like, oh, that's so cool because it just cool. looks really cool with the floppy disk. And I loved it and I held on to it for a few years now, but I haven't used it. So somebody else should make a cool journal with it or something. Yeah. Seem to remember the out, dragon. Yeah, I cleaned out three tubs, three of those big sterilite tubs. Yeah. With journals and books out of that uh, closet. And I'm just I'm getting to them now, kind of trying to dig for them because we have a nightmare situation over here. Yeah. Uh, the basement because I'm trying to put everything down here that I don't want upstairs, you know. And right. <laughs> it's a little crowded now because I've been I've been putting lots of stuff down here, so every time I go through stuff, I've been, you know, as I've been organizing and going through stuff, I've been putting stuff down, you know, giving stuff to Chris and he puts it down here. So it's been a, 
quite the uh, adventure down here because now it's like, whoa, we got a lot of stuff down here. <laughs> and we had a lot of stuff down here before. But yeah, just add we've it. now got the stock room is stocked. We can't even barely walk in there. And so now what we need is a couple more of those shelves. Um, we need some more of those shelves, what we need. Uh, but until I can get some more of those shelves, you know, it's kind of going out of the room and around towards the door. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm bringing stuff down and bringing stuff down. <laughs> I know. It's like you've got to kind of clear it out, but yet. Yeah, because I, I don't, I'm not, you know, I don't get like, I'm not like, uh, I don't. I'm okay with like giving stuff, you know, putting, you know, throwing stuff out or getting rid of stuff. Like, I don't care. I just, it's the task of doing it. Right. Is the problem. You know what I mean? But once I'm, once I'm in the mode to do it, you know, I get it done. Like, but the task of actually going through stuff and organizing is annoying, but I don't care. Like, I don't, I don't have a problem with throwing, put, you know, getting rid of stuff. That's not my problem. Right. I mean, I do accumulate more stuff, but that's just because that's the nature of going to the creative reuse. But still, yeah. I did get rid of a lot and I'm still getting rid of a lot. I'm still not done yet. Exactly. Because I just need to do it. Okay, Linda, you got 15 first, so you got it. Yes, Linda. Linda. I'll use this one. I'll use number 22 since I didn't use that before. No point in wasting it. Can you get something already, Linda? What did I have your name? I thought I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Or was that for a giveaway? Oh, I think that was a giveaway. Okay. I knew I wrote your name down at some point. I just didn't know when it was. But in, in cleaning out that closet, I did find uh, it's full. The closet's loaded. Th that's not because I cleaned it out, but then I was able to utilize that closet, which is what I wanted for stuff that I did want that was like all over, just randomly all over the place in my craft room. I wanted to kind of clean out some of that and put it in that closet, which is what I did. So I put, but in cleaning that out, I found a lot of really cool books, including the one like I showed the other night of that pinup book. I, there's tons of things I found that I was like, oh my God, I haven't seen this in so long. And it just kind of like re sparked my interest in some of those books that I forgot about. Because oh, the, yeah. the pinup journal or the pinup book, I can't remember who sent it to me offhand. Um, but somebody sent it to me as a happy mail. And I, I, I can't remember. I want to say it might have been. Um, might have been uh, Susan, Susan Cords, maybe. Oh. I can't remember. Huh. Well, cool, Linda. That's neat. She, she's, she's sent me some really cool stuff over the years, Susan. Has, so I want to say it might have been her that sent that to me because, you know. I could do that, Linda. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, you meant the floppy DIC thing. <laughs> Listen, Linda. Cool your jet. <laughs> All right, I want some paper. Paper. Anybody want some paper? Paper. Paper. If you want some good shelves that hold some heavy shit. I got you covered. I got some shelves. They were not expensive either. And they're they're amazing. And they, I mean, unless you're wanting like pretty shelves, these aren't like that. They're metal shelves, but they have wood, metal frame and they have wood and they're just really, really strong for holding like books and papers and they're really strong. Okay. So first these are stickers, obviously not paper, baseball related. But then we've got scrapbook paper galore. I'm just going to start putting it up here. I'm not going to take a million years to do it. But there's all kinds of scrapbook paper. A couple hundred pages probably here at least. 
If it's double sided, I'll try to remember to flip it over. These, these first ones aren't, but they're pretty nice colorful pages. I'm going to keep them as neat as possible. I'm going to have glitter on it. So I'm just going to go through the paper. No. Yeah, no, not, no sagging at all. They're great. Sturdy as hell. That's what I needed. Mm. These are great for making journal pages with because they're the thinner ones. These particular ones are the thinner ones. So these are great for making journal pages with and stuff like junk journal or just colorful journal pages. You can coffee dye them, which will mute the color down a bit and make yeah. them look like at the same time you'd be surprised you you think oh well if you coffee dye that it's still not going to look vintage oh yes it will yeah even these funky like colored ones with the you know even ones that you wouldn't think would look vintage it still makes them look really cool when you coffee dye them yeah they still look vintage and i can vouch for that one <laughs> but i love that one that one's cool there are some there's all different ones in here though i'm still trying to get this one apart I'm here. There. Purple and teal. Yeah, I do like the colors. A couple Christmas pieces. And then some Christmas scrap pieces. Paper, paper enabler. <laughs> well, I can't fit any more in my paper closet, so. <laughs> so somebody's got to take it and make your own paper closet. This is your chance. Make a paper closet of your own. Everybody's got to have a paper closet. I mean, come on. It's a staple. I feel like it's a staple in crafty life. we got to have a paper closet. Janie's going to make a paper closet now, too. This one here, I don't know whether, I think it was supposed to be that way, like textured like that. Because Yeah, it's weird. I don't know why it's like that, but it looks like it's on purpose. But I, it's yeah. like, huh? Mm -hmm. Welcome back, Chris. Paper. You came right. Hi, Chris. Mm -hmm. You're missing the paper, Chris. <laughs> Lots of scrap of paper. You're missing it. Then look. Cool. But you're here now, so it's yeah. all that matters. There might be a couple pieces in here that might have some wrinkliness to them, but you can cut that off. It's because it was they were kind of shoved in this like thing. So I had to kind of dig through and get them out. paper too. Some baseball, St. Patrick's Day, April showers, Coca-Cola, 
lime green, baseball, more baseball, more baseball, more baseball, more baseball, more baseball. Look, baseball. This one is double sided, it's just got a solid color on the back. Baseball. Baseball, baseball, baseball. Definitions of baseball. That's the cover of the pad. A lot of these papers, some of these papers. got stickers, chipboard stickers, or chipboard pieces. These are punch outs. Those are stickers, but these are punch outs. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just has stuff. Design stuff on the back. Double sided. Another piece of that. Double sided. That one's double sided. This is SEI paper. Granny's kitchen. Double sided. Double sided. Double sided. Granny's kitchen. Double sided. Double sided. Same piece, sided, same piece, two of the same pieces, this one's one side and that's the other. Let me get out of there. I show you the other side? It's not double sided. Here's some game night stuff to go with those stickers. Game night, movie night. Game night. Game night, games, family bike ride, blah, blah, blah. Dominoes. Flying kites. Dragons. And bikes. Oh, that's a backing of whatever that was. <laughs> it's just a piece of cardstock <laughs> thrown in there. Um, this is. 3D paper piercing frame. What does that mean? I don't know. It's got these little cutouts on here. So you pop them all out, I guess, and do something with them. Somebody graduated two thousand thirteen. This one is border stickers. The polka dot and teal stripe on the back. Polka dots and pink stripes on the back. Same one. Two of these. Two of these. Pink. 
blue. I get my fingers to cooperate. Cooperate fingers. There's two pieces of that gray paper there. And then there's another two of those. Alright, that's everything. <clears throat> Whoa. Get back here. All right, we'll start this off at five bucks. Well, this would be shipped media mail because it's paper. There you go. Media mail, good. <laughs> I can tell you that. Guess how much that package was, Stacy? Hmm. Four dollars and ninety cents. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Twin goes, oh, I think it would be like six or seven. I go, no, Stacy said four ninety, <laughs> and I waited and everything. And I was like, I, I was like, I'm so proud of myself. Before I even did that, I was like, hmm, I say six, and then I put all that bubble wrap on. Remember? And then yeah. I was like, hmm. But it was, but it was seven, I guess, all together. <clears throat> they right. you know, kind of rounded it off, and it was four ninety. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Like, see? That's funny. Like, he goes, well, I'll be darned. <laughs> I'm like, how much? How much? That's funny. 490. I know my postage. See? <laughs> it's funny because he said it like 490, like real low. Because <laughs> he, yeah, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I should work for the post office. <laughs> I know it. You can just you know, need a postal uh, scale. <laughs> uh -huh. No, I need a postal scale, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm not a human postal scale yet. <laughs> it's surprising how much I've been able to guesstimate. You know, well, this has got to be about three pounds. And I'd get it on the scale and be like, okay, it's three pounds. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, Monique, you got it, Monique. You got it. Oh, Chloe guess doesn't want to play. She ran away and tried getting up here. I had to pick her up. They don't want to play with her. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to play. I don't want to play no more. We got glitter again. More glitters. And the mother load of glitter, this giant thing of gold glitter. Yeah, it's giant. Then we got some red and white glitters. And we got this like silvery diamondy glitter. We got this one, which is like a gold and white glitter. This one's really pretty. This one's got like holographic stuff in it. Yeah, right, Monique. Go oh, there. This one is a 
pink and red and silver. This one is a blue and silver. We got the red. We got another red. We got the gold. We got the gold. Oh, my glasses on. Hold on. Gold and silver and copper, I think. Yeah, gold, silver, and copper in that one. We got green and gold, I think, in that one. Was it something to that effect? We got a nice pink one here. We got a purple, black, and silver, good for Halloween. In that one. Got another red. Got another pink. Same pink as that one, I think. Yep. This one's green and purple, which is good for Halloween again. Oh, I see that one. Probably like a green and like an orange then. Oh, I see there's Halloween and like Christmas. And, okay, all occasions. All occasions. This one is a... These are two different red colors. I don't know if it, picks, no, it doesn't really pick up on camera, but they are totally two different colors. And then that silver. This is blue and white. More silver, red and white, and purple and white. All right, we'll start this at three bucks. I think these are all like brand new, except for maybe this one. That's the only one that's like got some out of it. Go. The glitters. Glitter, glitter, glitter. Make your life sparkle. Glitter, glitter. <laughs> Fuzzy lips. We start <coughs> a few months of the Vaseline. <laughs> oh, really? Back up in. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to lose that fuzz, do we? <clears throat> oh no. Chloe, I'm not going to let you down. Don't worry about it. Feed you to the alligator. Glitter, glitter everywhere, glitter in your underwear. Monique, you got it for five. Glitter up the world. For a second, I'm here, so okay. We got the glitters. Glitters. All right, I have some bookies. First bookie I have is Celtic Art. I don't think we need a business card. Celtic art, so I feel like all kinds of Celtic, Celtic, whatever you call it, art. This has some cool stuff in it. Huh. 
And then we have Art of the Byzantine Era. Era? Era? <laughs> Some cool art pictures in it. You can cut them and do these things. The book is a little worse for the wear, but pictures. And then we have surrealism. So surreal. Some cool colored. Those are cool. There's an abstracty stuff. And then we have a follower's journal. Not a fan. <laughs> but it talks about, I don't know much about it, but it gives you prompts, I guess. I think it's religious y. I'm not sure, though. But anyway, it's a whole journal. It has prompts and stuff. Um, and then we have National. Audubon Society Field Guide to North American Reptiles and Amphibians. Amphibians. And it's got really cool pictures in it of all different amphibians, snakes, reptiles, lizards. Turtles. Turtle, turtles. Frockies. Skinks, salamanders, whatever they are. And there's more information and stuff based on state and where you live, what you'll find. So anyway, we'll start these at four bucks for all these fun books. And other books. Hi, Joy. Joy's here for Joy. Oh, that's all right. We'll punish you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll get you. Five Hardy books as well as well. Well, there's four, five books altogether, but only two of them are Hardy, and the other one is a journal. Actually, three of them are Hardy. Oh, it's fine. Five bucks. Not five bucks, five bucks. Five bucks. Four, four bucks. Boy. Oh, it's getting cloudy again. <clears throat> you never know. You think it might rain again? Yeah. Supposed yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, around here, who knows? Hmm. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? It might rain. It may not rain. Right. Well, you just step outside and look. <laughs> right. <laughs> Doesn't seem wet. No, it's not going to rain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's easy to, easy to find out. You kind of have to do that here. And it changes so much. Yeah. I know here it's kind of easy because it really... <laughs> Basically, yeah. does it, but <laughs> yeah. Little Gypsy. Hey, with the Nick. 
Oh, Gypsy got it. <laughs> she ninja it in. Got it. Ninja. I'm grab a sewing pot real quick if I can get my knees up. I mean, you doing what with your knees? I thought I was going to grab some sewing pop if I can get my knees up. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh. It hurts when you sit for that long and then you don't get it. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Next up, I have some randomy stuff. So I showed these before. There's these little Valentines, I guess, but they've got these little animals. See, they've got these little like pink sparkle horses, and there's like this little guy, and there's that little guy, and then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to it's, I guess it's for kids. You're supposed to tie it to the thing as a Valentine. I just thought these, like, here's a little purple one. Um, I just thought these were cute. All kinds of little horses. If you're making a fairy garden, you can put them in your fairy garden. What? We got some fancy schmancy cards. Fancy schmancy cards. And this one has like camels and little hippopotamuses, and they're really, really, really neon green. A little monkey, a lion, a rhinoceros, and uh, alligators. Who is that? They're for there's these little cards that kids would make. Here's an elephant, and they'd say, "I'm wild about you," and it's like a little Valentine's Day card, and you would give this to the your Valentine oh, as like a gift. You tie it to the thing. I don't know. Cute, cute idea, I guess. Different. Yeah. Then I got some mini glue dots and some dots, clear adhesive dots. And then I've got these little mini purses that this is like this, you know, the mini purses are in there and you can kind of decorate them however you want. And then I have some uh, silk ribbon photo corners. So they're made out of like fabric photo corner, corners for like a fancy thing. Oh, and this was from my stash. This is a whole bunch of Baker's twine. There is every color and type of baker's twine you can imagine in this tin. Along with this little bit of twine, too, whatever that is. All baker's twine. One of the things I was getting rid of. Alright, we'll start this out at three bucks. Get you some cute little animals and some blue dots, some purses, and some twine. Baker's twine. Three bucks. Go. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Want me some candy? Licorice. Mm. Did you? You got licorice? You like licorice? Mm. Is that what it is, licorice you're eating? He's ignoring me. Licorice of all sorts. Uh -huh. Oh, you're eating licorice of all sorts? Yeah. Looks like it. Hmm. Sounds like it. Hmm. Sounds like it. Sounds like it. Oh, okay. They're like good in plenties. Oh, I thought you were eating them, Jamie. Oh, my God. Wait, oh, I no, no. I, I thought you said, got me some candy, licorice of all sorts. And I'm like, oh, you like licorice? And you didn't answer me at first. And I'm like. <laughs> oh, is that what you see here? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you 
were going crazy. Oh, okay. you were talking about Linda. I wasn't even looking at the chat. <laughs> Linda causing trouble again. Oh. Good lord, I'm an idiot. What do you want? I don't know what to do with myself anymore. <laughs> I love good in 20s. Those I can eat. Those are the only type of liquors I can eat like that. I like them. Yeah, it's kind of. I, I, I never did it right, black or red. I don't know which one. You like hmm. I, don't know. I, don't know. I like Twizzlers, and then I like. I do like Twizzlers? the Mike and I. It has the candy outside of it, candy shell on the outside. Hmm. I do like me some of those. Oh, really? They don't have them in, in Canada? Weird. Wow. Monique. You got them, Monique. Let's some tape around this thing to hold it down. Criminal. <laughs> what? What they have in Canada? Wow. I even labeled it Baker's Touring. <laughs> Back when I had my other label. refreshing a little bit I mean what's going on might make you oh yeah try refreshing if you're having issues um yeah, yeah try refreshing yeah sometimes you lose a few seconds you know a few seconds here and a few seconds there yeah make sure that it's still on live like the live where it says live underneath the video, so it, click on it, make sure you're like caught up completely and not behind by a couple seconds. All right, we got puzzle pieces. For those of us who like to alter puzzle pieces or use them for crafting, these are like the bigger puzzle pieces. Most of these are the bigger ones. And these are actually wood puzzle pieces. How many? Well, that's supposed to be the puzzle that's put together, I guess. <laughs> and I also will throw in that some tapes. I have some. Oh, those are stickers. That's a roll of stickers. This is some tapes. This still has the plastic on it. So, skull and crossbones. Sure, skull masking oh. tape. Blue polka dot masking tape. Spider still in the plastic masking tape. Mustache. There's not much left on this one. That's the only one that doesn't have as much left. This one's spiders. This one has a good amount left on it. These are not very big to begin with. And then there's these two here. This one's still in plastic. This one again was used a little bit, but still has some on it. But they're not, like I said, this is brand new and it's not very big to begin with. So they're just decorative tapes. <laughs> yeah, tease us with the candy she's eating. How dare you. So puzzle pieces and tape. Get them while they're hot. We'll start it at two bucks. Two bucks. Go. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to. Oh, 
better be good candy or eating there. Mm -hmm. I want some good candy. <sighs> I want it. That looks yummy. Mm -hmm. That looks delicious. Delicious. Here we got looks like a Christmas stickers on here. A whole roll of Christmas stickers. We gotta do some giveaways too. Before I forget. Can't forget about that. No, we cannot. New. New. <laughs> oh, those away. Monique, you got a Monique. Couple interesting things, I guess. I have a tape dispenser. Some Dollar General tape. Well, what was left of the Dollar General tape. Not anymore. I've got a nice stapler, a nice swing line stapler. Let me fix the staples in there. Excuse you, staples. Don't flip over. Get out of there. Staples for this. Stacy mm -hmm. Monique wanted to know if you could add the puzzle pieces to the next lot because she doesn't really. Oh. Give them to the next lot because she doesn't really do them. Okay. Is this yeah. staple or not? Thanks, Monique. Does this staple or not use this kind of staples? Use only 260. High capacity desk staples. Well, isn't that what these are? No, they're not high enough, is the problem. Oh, wow. 1950 desk pool. Probably works very well because they don't work, you know, nothing. <laughs> it has to be. It, it, these aren't the type of staples it takes. Apparently, it takes like different staples. That's why these got stuck here because they are not the type of staples that it takes. It takes the uh, it takes a different type of staple. I don't know what kind. Hmm. I don't know, but anyway, it's a swing line. It takes you have to buy certain staples to search, you know, look for those staples. 
I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look and see. There's a hole punch with a nice padded handle on it. And there's a standard, you know, one of these kind of hole punches. There is a tape thingy for like, you know, doing tape, but you probably need to get a refill for it. And there is another one here that needs a refill put in it. And this one is Herma, H-E-R-M-A. They're like tape doodads. And then I also have a couple of these doohickeys. Putting the tags on, and the tag fast moves to go with them. And there's um, two of them. These are not the best to be tags for them. this one yeah oh it has different needle attachments that's why there's different needle attachments for it which there is no needle attachment on it currently so we will put this on there <laughs> I must say the new stapler is very sexy it's very sexy. It should it have needs staples. staples. I know it needs staples, right? Wrong Stupid thing. I'm trying to get this to, I'm trying to put this on there so I can function it. Ooh, well that was interesting. It's one of the needle off. I don't think I had it on there tight enough, did I now? No, I did not. Great. Anyway. I don't know how it works. Why do you put it on? You know? Maybe that's going to fling it off. Well, you need to go anyway. Anyway, you'll know how to do it. You'll have to figure it out. I ain't got the patience for this. But there's a bunch of holes. There's another one in here. So there's three guns all together. And there's a bunch of these things. There's more of these thingies here. So. I thought it was a label maker. What is it? No, it's to put on tags. Oh, I see. oh those little, yeah. This one gets a little stuck, but otherwise. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it didn't work, so it doesn't matter. So stapler, a tag thing, thing in the bobber, and we'll start this off at three bucks. I don't know how to put the things on those, but this guy we need to figure out. What kind of staple it takes? Let's find out. But they don't take regular staples. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're longer. That's why they need to be like these are more narrow for like a regular stapler. The, the, those ones are slightly taller. That's why oh, they have them right here. They're five dollars and ninety cents. They're heavy duty Optima stapler staples. That's what two dash sixty. It says it right on the bottom of it, so you'll be able to see. It just says exactly what they are. That's why. Because these weren't sliding over the little thing. There was like a little thing in there and it wasn't sliding over. I'm like, what's going on with these staples? Because they're too short. You need the long ones. So, yeah, you can get them on Amazon. 
Yeah. Does nice the sensor paper. have the wheel? Yes. In the middle of the Yep. Oh. It, it does. You could answer that one. <laughs> if the lot goes together. <laughs> what? Monique. What? The, 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 well, she's now take the, the swing line for 10 bucks. <laughs> but, oh, oh, oh. Well, if, if it doesn't sell any other way, because mm -hmm. I'd rather get, you know, get, sell the whole lot of it. But, yeah. But yeah, thanks to the table. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of antique staplers. Mm -hmm. I love. Monique, you don't want this stuff, right? You just want this? Is this all you want? Is this all you want? Just a stapler, Monique? Monique, where are you? Where'd you go? You ran away. You ran away. Ugh. I'm going to get this in my life like the rest of the game. Yeah, that's fine. I, I was just going to say, if you just want the stapler, you know, we can. I'll just give it to you for five bucks. How's that? That's a good deal. <laughs> And then, Chris, if you want the rest of the stuff, you can have it for three. How's that? Well, I know. Uh, I think she's a little behind. Stapler. Five bucks for you, Monique, for the stapler, and then Chris will get the rest for three. Does that sound good? worried about it Monique really don't worry don't worry about it nobody else was gonna bid on it anyway so don't worry about it right it's all yeah. good you guys were the only two 
Yeah, exactly. And everybody's happy. Yeah, five bucks is good. I'm happy with that. It's all good. <laughs> Yeah, Chris and Monique were the only ones that bid, is what I mean. Yeah. So. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> all good. Yeah. It's all good. I said so. A good in the hood? Yeah. It's good in the hood. Good in the hood. Good in the neighborhood. Okay, we're gonna do giveaways because I almost forgot again. Whoops. Almost forgot. Give them away. Give them away. Give them away. Give them away. Stephanie, Stephanie, where is Stephanie? You were in an apple book, and it's got blank pages in it. So you can use it for drawing paper or collaging or whatever. But that is for you. Miss Stephanie. A cute little Morse code stamp set for you. It has like the little thing that tells you where to Morse code, and it's all little Morse code cling stamps. That's cute, cool, isn't it? Yeah. Very cool. Morse code. It's not Fred. It's not Fred's code. It's Morris's code. Yes, Wanda, we are. I want to. Hey, Cheryl. How you been, Wanda? Are you doing okay? Awesome. Awesome, Cheryl. Cool. I'm glad you liked them. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. See you. How have you been doing, Wanda? Another. Monique. There you go. Monique gets a poodle. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty. Like the turquoisey color. I'm just kidding, but. Oh, I see what you said. Okay, Laura, it took me a couple seconds to get that. What? What she said? I go, you can't even see what you wrote because she says, just kidding. But I think she was trying like that Morse code thing. Get it? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can decode what she wrote. What did she write? You wrote. It's probably nothing, is it? Oh. Unless she oh. knows Morse code. Where are you moving to, one, uh, Wanda? Yes, is the oh, dot I, I, I. I don't think she wrote anything. Oh, maybe. Like, or did you? 
back to Connecticut. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yep. Bad sister. Right now. Hmm. Oh, you know, should have wrote a song. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I would too, you know, yeah. It's, it's good. Oh, you're moving? Oh. Yeah. Mm. Oh, congrats, you sold your house. Yeah, at least that, you know. Dot 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 dash 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 dot dot dot. Is she doing SOS? Hmm. 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 I bet your house sold fast, didn't it? Because everybody's house is selling fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Good. I've got some foam stamps. I've got some sports related ones. Here, soccer, football, basketball, and football helmet. Let's run that little baggie. And then we have some. It did three weeks. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. We got some Halloween candy corn, ghost pumpkins, and a pumpkin face. We got a butterfly, we got a checkerboard, we got this cool one. I have this one, I use it all the time. And my mixed media mashups and crafting, another sports related one. Here's some puppies and a mouse and a cat and a bone. There is some checkers, it's like made of frame, or you can just use it for the checkers. There's another one that I have that I use as well. Here's another little frame. Here's another little rectangle boxes. Here's ones like spring and Easter. It's got flowers and little Easter eggs. This one here has obviously school related scissors, pencil, school house. And this one here is snowflakes. And then this bag has um, oops, a peace sign, little wiggly lines, a little checker, three stamps on there. Who does, Monique? Always. Oh, a little triangle thing, a couple of different squigglies. Always oh, bad, my boy. <laughs> Yeah, all brand new. We'll start these at five bucks for all these. And I'm going to run to the potty real quick. Okay. So I'll be right back. Okay. Let's go. Mm -hmm. It's a shame, you know, one dip in those foam stamps. They won't look like that. <laughs> they didn't stay like that. <clears throat> Any stamp. Complete. Oh. 
problem is she takes her phone with her. <laughs> I know she <laughs> She'll watch us. Oh, she has it now. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I can't type for a while. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> 30 seconds. Ray, Ray, yeah. Huh. Oh. Okay, Steph. I was going to say, Jacqueline, that's going to be one light box. I mean, unless I don't know if you've got anything before from, you know, past. But, uh, <coughs> oh, damn, sorry. sorry, I had to hunt down my fig newtons. I'm hungry. Oh. <laughs> in the bathroom, I'm like, where are my fig newtons? I took it all over. I don't remember where they were. Anyway. Uh-oh. I don't remember who won. Jacqueline, she won. Ooh, birthday cake. Yum. Yum, yum. Laura says instead of bidding, I'm practicing my flarp skills. She's <laughs> flarping. Yes. Yeah, down there it is. Mm -hmm. She's flarping. She's getting ready for the flarp wars. <laughs> flarp contest. Flarp wars. <laughs> Yeah, where's my floor? Oh, there it is. Hiding behind the thing. I didn't see it. Otherwise, you know, I would have had it out already. <laughs> All right. I think this is the last of the foam stamps that I have. I've got some patriotic stars and whatnot. $300. Big Newtons. This is I Love USA. This one says USA, hard priceless, <laughs> a sparkler or a firework, whichever way you want to look at it. A couple other stars. Well, nobody's taking my big Newtons. Got some sport related ones. Another sport one. That's right, ninety nine, ninety nine, ninety five. You got a cute little flower a flower pot put it in a couple of little flowers you got one with flowers what does that stamp say right above that little pink flower right there this one usa oh it says okay. USA. yeah USA. thank you happy birthday cake 
USA, USA. <laughs> so these here are, I don't know what these are. They, they look like little caps. I guess you, you would, I guess there was some sort of thing you would put on them to stamp them. I mean, but you don't obviously don't need it. But there's like happy faces and little strawberries and like a word bubble lips and a little thing little flowery thing a watermelon slice or lemon slice yeah There's an arrow and a skull and crossbones and a swirly do and a hexagon swirly do flower and another flower yeah, there, must, there must have been a thing that you could have used. I guess it's a novelty thing. And then we've got a present and balloons and a little popper thing for like a birthday party cupcake. Now we've got balloon, candle. They are cute. I think it has to be a piece of cake or something. And then what was on it? Oh, a star. And then we had some sunglasses. A mushroom. A sun with a happy face. A tail. A flirtily. A moon. A telephone, a cheerleading horn or a megaphone, another sun, and lastly, a bow. We'll start these at five bucks. Okay. Five bucks. And I'm having a big one. You can't have one. <laughs> Oh. Hard to eat. Mm. I have sores in my mouth. Oh. Anything spicy or anything, boy, that would. Mm -mm. <laughs> I know Dwayne when he gets oh he's just like <laughs> mm. I can only imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's painful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Baby's going to go home. You gonna go home? But he still really shouldn't be zipping your face up. How about to zip your face up? <laughs> of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can't want to zip your face up. Oh, my baby. 30 seconds. Oh, that one was one. Yeah, they have the pink keyboards on Amazon. And that one came with a mouse and it's wireless and it was pretty cheap too. Oh, nice. I have a pink mouse, but I don't have a pink uh, keyboard. <laughs> oh, she is so sneaky. <laughs> 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 did you just say, did you just say oh she's a sweetie or did you say speedy ninja oh ninja wow where did i get speedy or or <laughs> sweetie from i don't know i didn't hear ninja oh, at wait, all wait, wait, wait. did i say sneaky i said oh, sorry. sneaky okay sneaky You're sneaky. oh i thought he said she's such a sweetie you know i thought you were talking about sophia and i was confused oh. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, it's funny. Pink, pink with white. Oh, cool. Jacqueline got it for 18. Yeah, I was telling her it's going to be a very, very light box with all the stamps. That I know. Oh, I know. Unless you got something. Good, because she lives in Canada, so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> but it doesn't matter as much the weight as it does the size of the box. So hopefully I don't take up a lot of room. <clears throat> oh, that's right. You told me that before, too. I mean, the weight counts once it gets to a certain point, but it's a lot of times the size of the box. So I'm going to have to strategically place all these to make sure that they go in to the smallest box humanly possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I that up yet. The drafting set I'm sitting over there. Oh, so I have a uh, drafting set from 1960. It's got everything in it. Hey, you help me out there, little dude. Can you help me out there? And let's see what a drafting set goes for. Um. Oh yeah, Jack. Yeah. No, oh, what? That was the exact point. Huh. Almost. Mm. Yeah, here's the exact one. Okay, so they go. Hmm. And that's it right there, isn't it? What year is that one? 1960. 1960. This one's missing the vials. Mine has them. Hmm. It goes for like 70 bucks. Okay. Or 65. That one went for 65. Anyway, we'll start it off at 10 bucks. Get a deal. Maybe you know somebody who's, well, I mean, if you're any kind of artist, I guess you could use it. Sure. It would be a good oh. gift for an architect or. You know, Carla gets it. She put it in yeah. after the show. Yeah, she put it on the right. You are committed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am not committed like in a bad way. I'm working with you. Yeah. It's like not in a bad way. I'm like, yes, in a bad way. Commit her. Oh. <laughs> oh. Cute set, though. Oh no. Oh god. Oh. I guess you guys can't have any. <laughs> well. Good thing I didn't buy those. <laughs> what? Good thing. Good thing Mommy didn't buy those. I know. I would have gone anyway. Jammed in there, but oh, it's a tiny little screwdriver. I thought it was oh, a pen. That's oh, that's for adjusting something. I don't know what, huh? I know, Monique. yeah, exactly. That's an interesting little set of doodads, whatever the hell that is. Uh oh, I'm not a draft person. 
but it's got the it's already got the lead in it. Move the paper, it moved. I did a circle. You did a. I did a circle. circle all by myself. I did it all by myself. Perfect circle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Draw a little circle through this one. It's got two points on it. What's that for? <laughs> Doing that with. I don't know nothing about drafting. A little weird little thing on it. The hell is that? I'm confused. Mm, I guess I'm not supposed to know unless I needed to. Yeah. Karen Thompson. She says it's mine. I'm taking it. Sorry, Otter. Gotta get down. Karen's taking it. Karen's taking it. She wants it. She wants it bad. <laughs> She gets it. It's hers. Oh, Chapman said, I've been waiting for the stamps for over a year. I'm not worried about the shipping. <laughs> oh, for phone 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 phone. oh, really? You, you can't get them where you're at? Like that. I, I had more last week. I wish you were here. You could have gotten a bunch more. Okay. Well, I'll be going through mine soon, uh, Jacqueline. And if I do, um, I'll put them in. I'll put some in with yours if I have a few. Because I, I'm probably not going to get rid of that many of them. So if it's like just like three or four, I'll throw them in your thing, in your box. Get them in Canada. Okay. Like computer thing or what? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see how they do. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I got the foam balls. I got these little plastic pieces that have like little little butterflies, dragonflies, little bees and stuff, mm -hmm. along with these little lobsters, and dolphins, the little plastic little figures, figurines, figures. Mm -hmm. And this one has fish and shells and stars like, and stuff. And then I've got glue sticks. We have these craft glue sticks. And I got more glitter. And I got red glitter. And I got clear glitter. And I got green glitters. And along with the glitter, I have that flower soft stuff. Now, this is not the branded flower soft. This is flower soft soft stuff that somebody made for made and sent me some. So if you don't know what that is, flower soft stuff, it's like a little bits that you would put on, like like you'd stamp a flower image or not even stamp it. You could just put some on and you would glue it on. It's like, it's almost like glitter, but this it's 
And you would glue it on and it would look like real flower stuff. You know what I mean? And there's different colors. This person made it out of plastic bags, which was an ingenious idea. And what they did was they put alcohol inks and they would pounce all over, a, you know, like cut open a plastic bag and pounce all over it like a shopping bag. What a way to use it up. Um, and they pounce the ink, alcohol ink all over it to color it. And then they cut it up into teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny little bits. And that's what they use. Isn't that cool? And there's one that's like blues and blues and grays with a couple other colors thrown in. And it's made to look like dried flower bits, kind of. And it kind of does, doesn't it? It really does. I'm going to all over the place, but here's some more. It looks like dried flower petals, doesn't it? It's very cool. And then here's some that's like other colors. No, it's not nail stuff. I mean, you could use it on your nails, but I don't know why you'd want to. I don't think it's meant for that. But if you want to see how it's used, um, whoever buys it, if they're interested and they're going to be around later when I go live later, um, I'll show you. I'll because I have some of this. So anyway, all this stuff will start it out at four bucks. You got some glitters, some flower softy stuff. Some little doodads and some foam balls and some glue sticks. Four bucks. Four bucks. Go. I had a, Sophia was going nuts because she had to put her in her crate because she was going and then she was having a fit. <laughs> she going home? She went home. Oh, did she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Walmart Stores Incorporated. I don't know how old that is, but it's pretty old. These are newer. These are from Walmart, but newer. And this one's newer, too, because this one's from... I can't remember, but... It's a pretty glitter, though. This one's newer as well. I got that. I got that white glitter. You do? You have this one? Uh -huh. You do. Oh. Dots. Yeah, I think I checked these and they're fine. I've got them for a little while. They're just, uh, they're just starting to get, they're just starting to get, like, they still work fine. They're just starting to, like, they're going to start to be no good soon if they're not used. So if you get them, use them. And actually, what's funny is, as they start to kind of, like, more moisture comes out of them, out of glue sticks, they get stickier, which is great. If you want, like, a good sticky glue stick, these work good for that. These right. are Ink Centrals collage glue sticks. So there's four of them. So use them. Don't let them sit around. Mm -hmm. Use them up. Uh -huh. Use them up. Use them up. Sure. Money. You got them. Money. They two weeks. Two um yo ninjas today. Falling off or out. I take everything more before I send it, but I don't even trust it in the battery. Okay, 
got some journal making goodies or you know that type of thing we got some of these uh, uh, paper sample books you can alter and make the journals or use the paper out of it some of them are good to use the paper out of it and they've got like like their goodies I'm going to get stuff that you want. Like, okay. I think. This has all paper samples in it. <laughs> it has more cool papers in it. That one somebody took a chunk out of, but it's still got a lot of paper in it. Oh, and we got Glow Tone French Paper Company. Ooh, Neon bright colors. And we've got this one. This one has your tabs and stuff. So this one is the one you can turn into a journal, alter it, turn it into a journal. And then we have Duro Tune, Tune, Duro Tune. This has all like these cool papers here. And a cool color cover, cover, color, color, cover. And then we've got laser paper. I guess oh, they look like stone. Jacqueline paid. Okay. Thanks, Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. I have clay that looks like that, you know. You do? Mm -hmm. I have. Cool. Hmm. Granite. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> I didn't know they make clay like that. Yeah. All right. We'll start this out at three bucks. If I could get the. Yeah, I have I have that stapler. Oh, you have one of those? Mm-hmm. Is that the like? Here, I'll show you. I'll get it. Yeah, I'm here with those. I smell maple. Oh, I must be having oatmeal with maple. Yes. Wednesday. Ooh. Actually, I have four of them. Oh, I have them on that table, on that little side table as decoration because they're cool looking. So there's this one. Oh. This one's swing line. And there's this one, which is also, I think, is this one swing line? No, this is a pilot. Oh. And what's this one? Can't see. Glasses, please. This is a scout. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> And then this one is also, I think this one is, what was this one again? It says the Bates Manufacturing Company. Bates, Monique yeah. Said that's the one she so, had. four different ones. Which one? <coughs> I have a swing line, pilot, scout, and Bates. I don't even know how to load staples in the damn things. Do they take, they don't take standard staples, do they? This one might. I don't know. I don't know how to load these things. Do they take staples like this? I wonder this one. How do you do Holy it? Great. There's yeah. staples in this. There's like rusty staples in that. I'm just going to leave that one. I think that one. The, this one's got staples in it too. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to come out. That one don't work. Why don't you not go down? It's probably yeah. stuck. That one's probably stuck. It probably could be fixed. But this one goes down. So this one needs staples. You put them here? Underneath it here? I don't know. Oh, I guess so, right? Yeah. Whoa. Okay, I got it. 
Oh, it works. Look at that. <laughs> it does. Cool. It works. Well. Hmm. <laughs> it works. I like it. Yeah, I have them just for decoration. This one would work too if it had staples. <laughs> yeah. but these two are stuck. They need their staples taken out. I'm the queen of staples. <laughs> I love my staplers. They're for decoration purposes only. Cool. Well, this one, the one that works now, I should be using it. Which one was it? This one? No, this one. No, this one. I don't remember which one it was now. Yeah, that one. Let's <laughs> say. That was over here. My favorite one is this one, but I have to fix it. I haven't had a chance to play with them, but I, I eventually, I mean, because I got them and the basement was done and there was all kinds of things going on and then Chris was moving in, so I didn't get a chance to mess with them, but eventually I want to clean them and like oil them up a little bit and, and try to get the other ones working just, just because I don't want them to not be working, not because I'm really going to actually I'll probably use this one to staple this on here on this bag because it's a canvas bag and it's not going to, it works, it works. There you go. Okay. Now I need you to move over. Go back in a second. Like right on here. Okay, let me go throw these back over there real quick. Okay. What? Do we have a fabric sample book in blues and a little green? This one's all soft. Softies. Softies. Shows pillows. That's what you would use with these, I guess. That's what they were originally used for, I guess. Like fabric or, or upholstery and stuff. And pillows. And you've got like silver slash gray. That's pretty. Is cool looking. Well, oh, that's nice. It's like watercolor, but like very soft, velvety. That's pretty. Maybe the pinks are pretty. <gasps> mm, pinks are pretty. Love that. Love it. That one's gonna be pretty. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that watercolor looking oh, one. That's pretty. <gasps> that's wow. really pretty. It's got like distressed areas with little sparkle threads down in it. Oh, that's really cool. Wow. That's so cool. Love that. There's another one too. And greens and turquoisey colors. That's so that pretty. That came from the creative reuse, right? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Or, uh, what yeah, it came from creative reuse. <laughs> pretty. I think it could be one. All right, we'll start this off at five bucks. Five bucks. Thank you. 
Pretty colors, that's for sure. And they're all very soft feeling. That's what I like. I like the soft ones. <laughs> yeah. The softer, the better. All right. Who done get it? Well, Deborah, you got it, Deborah. And I'm going to add something to it. Um, another Deborah wants that book. Huh? Deborah wants that book. Yeah, you just had to have it. I'm going <laughs> to add another one since, since it went over, like if it goes over a certain amount in my head, I'll add to it. So since it went over what I wanted for it, um, do you have a preference in color as far as if I give you another fabric sample book? Like, is there a certain color that you like best or? Purple, blue, purple, blue, and blacks. Okay. I can't guarantee I have that exact combination, but if I find a purple one or I find a good blue one or a good black, you know, black one, I'll add that to it. Okay. Cool. some punches I've got a water punch it does a little flowery scrolly border I could do a sample of that and we got these punches here one's a snowflake one's a little zippity doo dah thing we've got one of those staplers that you don't need a staple for we got a corner punch and that's a little side like that and then you Thing in. These came out of my stash. We have a butterfly, little butterfly. We have a little snowflake. We have a little star. We have a little tiny flower. We have another border punch. This one's little sand castles and buckets, sand like beach themed. I'll show you that. And we got another snowflake. We got another corner punch. And we got this kind of corner punch. We'll start these at $8. Eight dollars. Dollars. Go. Did I have to leave paper in there? Of course I did. Chloe, get out, paper. Got her nose to the door. 
Use her nose to her wine. Yeah. I don't know. They left already. She's like, always does that. Like, are they coming back? Oh, oh I didn't punch very good. Let's try that again. This time, punch all the way down, dummy. The Fiskars ones I just like as much. They're those. harder to do. Yeah. Yeah, this one's hard to do. This one needs a little love. That's why I didn't use this one very much ever. But it needs a little love. Like, it needs a foil or wax paper cut through it. That one needs a little love. The rest of them all work. But that's the one that... That's the one, like, remember the other one? I got these at the Creative Reuse, I think, a long time ago. That one makes a cool little corner piece. And you can, like, tuck something in it. You know what I mean? The point of that is to, like, tuck something in it. You don't have to, I guess. But you can tuck, like... Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Cool. Like a yeah. photo corner or something. Or you can, you know, I guess. Uh, See, these work great. These, uh, the uh, EK Success, I guess, ones. Deborah said, yep, it could be fixed. Because I remember her saying that she does fix those. So, exactly. She does what? She said it can be fixed. Cause she's I screwed that up. Remember? Yeah, I know. I always had to stand up, Carla, to punch it through. Mm -hmm. it too. Now this one's problem is just that it, if you don't, if you do it on thin paper like this, and the paper yeah. distorts, that they don't like the thin paper because it's so intricate. See, I I don't have any problem doing this if I unless I do it on thin paper like this. If I do it on cardstock, it's fine. If I do it on thin paper, not so much because the paper is so thin that it doesn't like to. It like moves. You know, copy paper, right? And it's it's an intricate pattern. So as soon as it cuts, because it's copy paper, it's moving. Now I put too much paper in there. There we go. See, it's it's still not gonna do it. I need copy. I need cardstock. But anyway, it does that pattern. Little sandcastle and buckets and stuff. Yeah, it works better on like cardstock. That's what I meant. Not copy paper. You know what I mean? Yeah. Copy paper. No good. And then we got the corner punch, which makes like a little, little rounded dotted corner. And we got snowflake. I'm probably putting the two pieces of paper that I don't usually do. Snowflakes, which gather in the bottom if you want the snowflakes or the hole punch there. Or I saw four of those yeah. blue ones my friend Laura gave me when she was here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This one cuts out tiny little flurs. Tiny little, teeny tiny little flurs. You could put like a rhinestone in the middle of it. Of course, the corner punch, that's pretty self-explanatory. It rounds the corners. And the star, that works fine. Yeah, border punches, if you don't use cardstock, they don't work so well. Because if they get if the paper is flimsy, it'll get stuck up in there. So we got flowers, and we did the didn't do the butterfly yet. That one does butterflies, and this one does those little swirly doos and the whatnots. The snowflake. This one cuts really nice, and then you can make a swirly do on the end of it, leading to it. And this one is a stapler without a staple. Oh, I didn't put the paper together. It went through. It went to the other side. But what it does is, oh, I just stuck that all the way in there. But anyway, what it does is it makes a thing, and it makes it so that the paper, you don't need a staple. And if you tear hard enough, it'll come out. But Punchies. Punchy punchies. Yeah. Yeah, this one just gets caught on the white paper that's like thin. It yeah, those thick. uh Fisker ones that Laura gave me, I was using them and then if they get dull, I was taking um foil and I mean I go stamp, 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 stamp a whole bunch and then it really worked good. I mean it's just you know, and then some um wax paper and it kind of lubricates it back up. 
I don't have any good hard paper down here. Uh huh, Chris. You just have to, you know, you punch. I have the like heavy duty uh, foil, or you can just fold it, and you just keep you punch like probably five times through. Just keep on punching, and then put the wax paper in, and then that'll kind of lubricate it like that little border. Oh, are, oh, cool, Deborah. You take them apart. I should take my EK successor. There you go. Mm, my eyeballs. Who got it? Oh, Val. I think Val got it. Val got it. No. Yeah, it is cute. And now we need a bag. Actually, this bag might be stronger. Other punches too, Deborah. You the paper punch picture queen. Cool. <laughs> Do people bring their there's to you, Deborah, and you can fix them. Are you the paper punch fixer? Upper? <laughs> Queen? Okay. If they can't do it. Vintage books. Vintage books. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, books. 1941. Called Jess. This is a Reader's Digest. They labeled it D. Churchill, nineteen sixty-seven. Nineteen what seven? Sixty-seven. Oh, Sixty-seven. And then this is Amid My Alien Corn. Oh. I think it's a, a religious book, actually, though. Oh. 1958. I think it's a little, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's about corn. I think it's just about corn. I don't know. Anyway, three vintage books. We'll start it at three bucks. Three bucks. Go. Yeah, Deborah. <laughs> I know it's when it's like you get enough of them, you're like, okay, well, start charging for it. Not like you snap your fingers and take them apart, you know. Where are you taking apart? Uh, punches to fix uh, them. Oh, really? Taking them apart and fixing them? Yeah. Remember Deborah won that broken one last oh. time? Oh, yeah. yeah. She, could, she could fix them, she said. Huh. 
Pick some up. Pick some up. Pick some, pick some. play with your sister <laughs> right <laughs> just looking at like oh, oh twain said oh uh -huh. took her. <laughs> so funny. 30 seconds i don't know she loves her friends i mean they're every time she you know drops her off they're all excited to see her mm -hmm. And after a while, they're like, okay, go home. <laughs> you know, sometimes she bugs them. Go away. Oh, he's such a pain in the ass. Okay. Here, Leticia, I'm going to add that to it. Four now. Four. Four. Like, I'm done for the day. <laughs> it's funny, oh, this one's cool. really play. Oh, sorry. I, thought, I thought this would be a good one to make into a journal just because of that cover. It's so cool looking. It's uh, The Triumph of the Seeing Eye. It's the Seeing Eye Dog book. Sixty-three, and then we've got "Let's Find Out About Fall." Oh, Another one that would yeah. be a great one to turn into a journal. It's got a library card in it. And then this one. Modern Spanish. This is a cool looking cover, too. Modern Spanish. It's got all these little. Get rid of those. And those. And those bookmarks. I got rid of their bookmarks. So it's a cool modern Spanish book. From. Like 1966. Did that other one have a copyright? That fall one? Uh, yeah, I think I said it. Did I not? Did I not? Maybe. This one was 63. Oh yes, this is 63 too. Then if they're both 63, maybe. Oh, okay. So start them at three bucks.
Oh, yeah, that would make a great little fall journal, you know, fall theme journal. Yeah. That's a cool one. Go. I forgot to put what it was. <laughs> Yeah, the one that will cover that first one too. Yeah, I like the cover on that one. That one's cool. Got a very mid century kind of cover on it, you know. Yeah. There's 60s. Let's There are four seasons in the year, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Some people like winter best, some people like spring. Some like summer, others like fall best. When is fall? Fall is when you're back in school after summer vacation. Fall is when it gets cool. You put your you put away your summer clothes and put on warmer clothes. In the fall days, days in the fall, the days get shorter and shorter. You could play outdoors very long after school. You can't play outdoors very long after school. It gets too dark. It gets dark too early. I can't read. The sudden frost that comes on a fall night kills many flowers. One day, the flowers are tall and bright. The next day, the flowers are dead. Morbid. The leaves of many trees change color in the fall. In the fall, many animals get ready for winter. The fur on some animals get thicker. Some animals put away food for the winter. Many birds fly away to warmer places. The frogs go down to the bottom of the pond. There they sleep all winter. In the fall, the caterpillar makes a cocoon in which it sleeps all winter. While it sleeps, the caterpillar killer, blah, blah, cater, cater killer, caterpillar changes into a moth. In the spring, the moth comes out of the cocoon. People get ready for winter, too. Vegetables are picked and put away for winter food. Hey, I'll be, I'll be picking vegetables, too, soon. Fruit is picked for winter food. Halloween comes in the fall. Thanksgiving Day comes in the fall. The first Thanksgiving dinner was long ago. Thanksgiving Day is still celebrated every fall with a Thanksgiving dinner. Look, there's Chloe. <laughs> there are four seasons in the year. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Which season is best of all? And it gives you vocabulary words. <laughs> I read you the whole book. I read you a story. Yeah, I know. You it for eight. <laughs> The spring, summer, and fall. Oh, you can't. She's a speed reader. I am a speed reader. Okay. I got a Merriam Webster. Elementary Dictionary. It's got cool pictures. It's elementary, my dear. Um, 1961. Well, that's a good year. Sure, here's a tip. Don't step in dog poop, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Modern Medical Counselor. It's a thick ass book, is what that is. Look at the cool pages. Oh, that's me. It's like it's got that. It's got a cool like modeled effect on it that they did to the side of the pages, like a, almost like they um, water marbled it. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Patricia said, "Should I leave you a tip since you read the whole book?" <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said, "Here's a tip: Don't step in dog poop." <laughs> <laughs> Bed bug, body louse, rat flea, human flea, human flea? Humans can get fleas? I'm confused. Itch mite, wood tick, house fly, mosquito. Hmm, these are all fun things, aren't they? Uh, yeah. 
Oh, look, color pages. One color page. <laughs> I think. Did you see that uh, about the, the last oh. bin? Uh, yeah, I, you got them, Letitia. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Yeah. I wasn't even looking. No, you got them for, what was it, eight, I think? Yeah, yeah. eight bucks. Okay. <laughs> she was just chatting. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> A baby. Baby. Who's that? Baby. Medical book, and all of a sudden there's like a glamour woman in here. Oh, yeah, of course. What year is that one? Oh, this is uh, probably 50 something. It's published in Nashville. Oh, 1943. All right, we'll start this at three bucks. I didn't either. Well, I don't think because I was like, mm, when you said oh. it, I was like, I don't think I heard either. Go. So, yeah. Sorry. Maybe I wasn't very loud. It's like she was howling and won the bit anyway, so that's probably why that you know figure we see anyway. Oh, let me go find uh, what I'm looking for over here. Medical counselor. Huh. I think you need more than that. Hmm? I think you need more than this. This would make a cool journal cover, though. With that. On there. That would make a cool journal. Very it, it, I'd be interested in reading reading some of this because it's just I'm sure some of it is kind of outdated and would be kind of funny. And we'll see if it how much it's updated. <laughs> yeah. Some will be like mm. you got it, Marsha for eight. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. 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 Paper again, some paper. Oh, paper, paper, <laughs> basketball paper, purple paper, more purple paper, cool colored paper, 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 <laughs> happy birthday paper. 
Happy Easter paper. Happy birthday for Easter. Mickey Mouse. A letter from numbers. Grandson, something or other. Right, Leticia. Family and then daughter. Steampunk. Preschool. Another piece. Preschool. Kindergarten. First grade. We're going to go all over the world. Oh, I'll get back here. Oh, no. Happy birthday. More happy birthday. We got some solid colored 12 by 12 cardstock in white. There's four pieces of white here. And then there's an additional one. So two pieces of white there. Oops, sorry, three pieces. And there's a bisque color. And there's an additional three more of those, so four all together. That's a piece of chipboard from the back of a paper set, I think. There's a couple of pages of this. Three. Four. Five. And then one. Two of those. And one. Two. Three. Four of those. And one, two, three, four of these. And that's that. Some more of these tan and whatever colors. I don't know what the hell bisque is. White. Oh, clouds. Four clouds. And we have some remnant pieces. Spooky dots and chevrons and plain blue. This has three signs and hearts on it. Yellow. Oranges. It's a little crinkly down here, but it's purple. Looks like a design on it. We got a Statue of Liberty. Another Statue of Liberty. Black. Speckled, another speckled, different kind of speckled. Camping, camping, oops, stripey, stripey, purple, purple. Pebbles, hot pink, different hot pink, is that the same, that's the same hot pink, hot pink, neon yellow, there's two neon yellows there, and there's this teal color, and then there's this random white piece, but hold on, I can get over here to get the rest, let me grab the rest. Okay. Ow, I just banged my knee really hard. Oh, that hurt. Oh, oh, bitch. Mm. That didn't feel great. That's a good trip. I'll feel it tomorrow. Right. Worry about it tomorrow. Mm. Okay. And then we've got these reds. Definitely. Mm. 
Yes, I'm trying to bankrupt the world. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bankrupt the world, pay my bills, you know, same difference. <laughs> no, that was bad. And this is just a bunch of white 12 by 12 and white whatever that is and then there is this which is some cream colored and gray 12 by 12s oh get back here hey 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 pinks 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 pink polka dot and like a peachy color peachy color peachy pinky color Pink polka dots, pink and blue, pink and blue, pink, pink, pink dragonflies, more pink dragonflies, it's like a mauvey color, and then we've got this one which is double sided, it's got like polka dots on that side and flowers on that side and there's Let's see, another piece of that, and another piece of that, and then this has got blue pokey dots on that side, and flowers on that side, and there's two more pieces, three more pieces of that, I mean, four more pieces, <laughs> and there's that more pokey dot. We've got two of these, the letters. Gray one with the letters, clocks, two more with letters, another one of these, two of those, or I don't know, you know what I mean. Do I have a bag for this? Oh wait, I do. I think I need to do it.
Oh, uh, Leticia, you got it, Leticia. Throwing all these cardstock pieces in there with it. Mm -hmm. Cardstock. Uh oh, it's gonna rip. No, don't rip. No, come on, this is Walmart bag. cardstock and such and other things. Good paper dyeing paper. That pink. This one has is not the greatest. It's got like a spot, like a ripped spot, but it's not ripped all the way through. Like it ripped a layer. But use it as scrap if you want. Here's orange cardstock. This is like a, a thinner it's like a scrap of paper, but it's either cut down to size or something. This is a little set holiday pack assortment and it's got a few papers in it. It's got a Valentine's Day, pumpkins and Halloween, and then the Easter one. I think that's all that's left in there. Oh, and then that one probably was in there too. There is some orange cardstock, some blue cardstock. Some more orange, wait, some yellow, some orange, and some more yellow. One, one, two, three, four, five, five pieces of that. Two more pieces of that blue. Two, about oh, one piece of that blue. And a bunch of the green. There's one. Stacy? Yes. Leticia asked if you could send the extras you added to Tanya. Um, okay. Yeah. Give me a second. That's nice of you, Leticia. Leticia, Leticia, Leticia. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay, then we have this piece, which was, I think it was like a sample something or other. Oh no, so it was this one. I think it was like a sample. And then we have a piece of wallpaper, another piece of vinyl or wallpaper. It's vinyl, but another piece. And we have another piece of that sample paper in blue, another piece in gray, green, green, almost a black color, another blue, a greenish gray color, another blue. This is a wallpaper sample the house and that cool it's supposed to be like that I guess for wallpaper that'll be cool to color in this is a wall paper sample it's like a uh, a natural like wood or whatever oak bark oak bark mm. I guess that's a thing Ooh. 
No, 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 no. Please don't fall over the floor. I don't feel like picking you up. No, no. <laughs> There's some vellum pieces, some pearly cardstock, some acetate, some more acetate, some more pearly cardstock, some black pearly cardstock, some white pearly cardstock. This is all vellum scraps. There's some pretty vellum on here with like designs. Vellum. You can write, you know, stamp your sentiments and stuff. You can emboss on it. More of the fancy kind. There's a whole piece of the fancy kind there. Okay. Who's in this envelope? Sorry. Let's see what else is in there. Okay. And then you got an envelope too. A purple envelope. <laughs> Some Bristol drawing paper. These are like big cards. They're, I don't know if they're cards, but they're big scored pieces that I think are like giant cards. I don't know. Snowman paper. A couple pieces of what looks like laser photo paper of some sort. Some stationary paper with dots. Here are, it's scored for like four postcards and they have like cool little colorful specks on it. A bunch of that. It's another piece of that like laser paper. There's some of that and there's some of that. There's more of that. And then we have a Melissa and Doug coloring book or if you like to color. Oh, this is a sticker book. Sorry, sticker book. Not a coloring book. It has like letter stickers in it. And then the this is the coloring book. It has Disney characters in it. So if you like to color. Oh, that's cute. There's only, I think there's like one or two pages that were colored in the whole thing. Maybe just like that one. And I don't, and maybe that one and that one. Okay. Still a lot of good pages in there to color. Cute. Love it. Yeah. Okay. I'll start this off at three bucks. Ugh. Upwards and onwards and upwards. Get in there. Ugh. Three bucks. Go. Okay. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> we always sing that stuff. <laughs> oh, good night, Karen. I'm going to sleeping. Karen? Got my other jump rings um, yesterday. Oh, did you? <laughs> from AliExpress. Remember? Well, they were coming from AliExpress. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I ordered the gold and the silver, and hmm. the gold came to do the cool. key ring, and then I got the silver. Yeah. Well, that's good that they came. They came pretty quick, huh? For AliExpress, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Yeah, you got it, Tanya. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oh. Okay. Still here, Karen, or did you fall asleep? Yeah. Karen, are you still here? Where are you, Karen? If they're buttons, she is. If they're not, she's not. <laughs> that's what I'm just gonna say. I don't know. Well, that's what I have. I have some buttons. No. I was gonna. Okay. I was trying to find other buttons. I couldn't find them though. But I have these. Well, if she's not here, I will wait. I mean, yeah. Cause I feel bad that I didn't get them earlier, but I was trying to find other ones. All right, I guess she's not. Maybe we'll save them. There's not. There's not a ton. Maybe I'll find the other ones between now and next week. Yeah. Um. got this flannelly woolly fabric. I don't know if it's wool. I don't know if it's flannel. I don't know fabric, but it feels woolly maybe. And it's blue and brown. Um, and there's a lot of it here. Uh, I don't want to undo the whole thing, but there's one too. She shows up. 16, all right, it's 32 times what you see here. Mm -hmm. So that's the best I could say. It's a very large piece of that fabric. So it's a pretty big piece. We'll start this off at four bucks. So if you need a... I, I buzzed her. <laughs> there she is. Oh, did you? All right, well, after yeah. this, I got buttons. I got buttons, Karen. Yep. Where are we? if you would come in. Uh, go. <laughs> so this is a, what did I say? Start at four bucks? Yeah. So it's a 32 times the size of this. It's a, a lot of fabric. And it's like a wool fabric. I'm going to say more wool than flannel or something. I don't know. I don't know much about fabric, but that's what it reminds me of. I'm not sure. It's like a, I don't know. It's wool, but. It's a thin, it's a thinner you know, it's not super thick, but it's not like cotton thin, you know, like that. It's much, it's like flannel heavy, but it's, I think it's wool. I don't know. Yeah, but don't quote me on any of it. It's a nice fabric, whatever it is. Is it itchy? Itchy? Mm, not to me, it's not. No. I mean, no, not at all itchy. Not itchy at all. But then again, I don't think all wool is itchy. It depends on the wool and how they make it, I guess. But I don't know. Like I said, I don't know much about fabric, so. All I know is it's... Okay. Pretty. I like the colors. I yeah, I guess some wool is. I, I've I've been surprised by some wool that it wasn't itchy or didn't have that kind of feeling. So that's why I'm not sure because there's been wool lately that I've felt that was really nice. So I don't know. It could be polyester. I don't know the difference. Like I couldn't tell you. Oh, that's polyester. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I could tell cotton. 
and it's not i don't think it's cotton but mm. karen you got it yeah i never know either mm -hmm. i'm just not good with fabric so i do the best i can to describe it saying i don't have a crap ton of them but and a lot of them are like in these little bags and things but there are some other ones at the bottom that are more vintage looking but there's like some interesting metal buttons and that one's really pretty and then there's some shell buttons but, and then there's buttons i haven't even looked at in, in these bags look oh look at that big shell damn so there's tons of buttons here, and some of them, I don't even know what they are. These are big metal buttons. So, there are some cool buttons in here. Black button. So I couldn't tell you what some of these are, so I'm not opening every envelope, but, you know. And there's some vintage button doohickeys. There's more buttons. There's more. That one's sealed. It's Ann Taylor. Mm. Extra ah. button. Turn sideways, dummy. Another shell button. Red ones are pretty. That's cool. Yeah, they're pretty. These are oh, like really cool. these are like see through y they're pretty fabric buttons. And then on the bottom <laughs> there's these little pearl beads in here. On the bottom, oh, we have a bag of vintage buttons there. Look at this one. Whoa, that's Pepper, Pepperell branding. Is it a button or a, I don't know what that is. And then we have all kinds of things. That one's really pretty. Like that enamel, old enamel button. And there's also a pin that says number one mom. Great <laughs> girl. <laughs> Cool buttons there. Shell button. JD's back. Hey, that's a plastic you know? cover shell button. It almost looks like opal. It's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. The colors. That's a. RTW kids button with glue on it. I don't know how that happened. Purple button. That's cool. Mm -hmm. There's some cool buttons. Cool looking little buttons in here. Some cool metal buttons. This one looks like a almost like a keyhole cover or a keyhole. Nice. Right. Some sequins of shell buttons. A wood button. But not, not as many as I've had in the past, but definitely another one of those keyhole cover buttons. Another one of those enamel buttons. What does that say? Is OBR? What's OBR? I don't know. 
Yeah, like these are they sure do. Oh, these are like two. These are like these translucent ones. They look like sea glass. They're plastic, but they look like sea glass. I just thought they were pretty. Yeah. And I two of those somewhere floating around. There's a metal one. I just dropped a button. There it is. Get careful. All right. So you get the drift. We'll start them off at four bucks. Four bucks. Go. Go. No. No. Go. <laughs> All right. Start working there. Want to work? Albert's. Extra boots in the sequence. Shell beads and they are nice. I'm opening this. I don't care that it's not opened yet. I'm opening it because it's I just have to know. I was hoping it would be a million dollars, but it's just, it's buttons. Yep. Big button. You got it, Val. There's the other. One of those. You got it, Val. Looking again. Do one more thing and that's it for today. This cool piece of fabric. There's a really cool border pattern down here. And it like fades up to the other. Mm -hmm. it has that middle and then it has that on the side. And it's folded in half once. So it's double the width of what you see here, obviously. A little bit more than double, actually, because it's not all the way over. Wait, there's a receipt or a tag. Ah, two yards. Two yards. I'm getting the pin out of here because I do not want to get stuck. No pin. Oh. Mm -hmm. Or staple, either way. <laughs> really? Yeah, I bet you. That's always cool. So two yards of that. And 
then probably the same amount or more than this one. It's a really pretty teal color. So, yeah. This is a, I don't know, not probably cotton. It's probably a rayon. I don't know if that's what it is or polyester. I have no idea. But it's a nice tealy, good for curtains or pillows or whatever. And there's a good amount of it here. Whoa. Front and center. And lastly, there is this piece here, which has aminals on it. Oh. And it is um, four times what you see, or eight times what you see here. It's, well, eight times what you see there. So, thank you, Tanya. Yeah, guys, don't forget to pay before you leave, please. All right, we'll start this off at four bucks. Four bucks? Go. Four bucks. Put a large piece, two yards, plus another, and another. Because I didn't know how many were going to yeah, go. Probably and all around around two, three yards, of, you know, each. <laughs> most likely. Yeah. yeah, about that. About two to three yards. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna wake Laura up. Who? Laura. Is she sleeping? Well, she shouldn't even be sleeping. Huh? <laughs> she shouldn't be sleeping. <laughs> Laura B. I haven't seen her. In <laughs> I, think she, I think she took off on her on us. Did she? No, no. I haven't heard from her. There she is. She was sleep. See? Woke her up. To work. Oh, gosh. Oh, come on. 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 You just smell like makeup. Smells sharp. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Deborah. Deborah Pate. Thanks, Deborah. Yeah, I'll be doing the final giveaway. And you need to be paid up to be in it. 30 seconds left. Grab you some fabric. Grab you some pretty fabric. Or don't. That is up to you. All right, nobody wants it. You'll regret it later. You'll be like, no, I should have gotten that fabric. <laughs> All right, let's do the final regular giveaway for all the marbles. Marble? Okay, so you're gonna get two book covers to make a journal with. You're going to get a Mad Libs to make funnies with. You're going to get a scrap pack with all kinds of scraps in it. And you're going to get a face box, which is a stencil and pen thing. You've got a couple stencils in here. And you're supposed to make a face by stenciling that. And then you got your eyes and your mouth and stuff. And then you got your hair and your hats and stuff. So... 
That's what you are going to win if you are called upon to win. Ow. Oh, it's a keyboard. Oh, okay. This is for everybody, even if you've already won something. All the marbles and then some other marbles. Jacqueline! 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 Jacqueline won! Oh, yeah, Leticia comes through Facebook. You want me to pick someone else? What if I give you something else? I'll pick somebody else for this, and then I'll, I'll get you, I'll put some extra stamps in your thing. I'll find extra stamps to put near, you know, foam stamps. Karen! Karen T, you got it. Paper over here, over yonder. Get back here. Awesome. All right, now we're going to do the giveaway for those who bought something, so make sure you're paid up so you can be in that, and that'll be geared towards your wants and desires. <laughs> and, of course, what I have to accommodate those wants and desires. No care. <laughs> Leticia S. Uh, Deborah S. And I just kept going. Everybody's last name is S. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah. I can't remember what you got, what you 
won those four. Yep. Oh, no, Karen, I don't remember. <laughs> and it was just like two minutes ago. Oh, I need to go with looking. I'm looking at my little man I'm making. Top three. <laughs> Surprise. Okay. Okie dokie. I that out of my way. Mm hmm. See Karen's star. <laughs> and oh, and Leticia. Karen said, "Quick, show me something so I can be in the drawing." <laughs> Who? Karen. Karen. Bye. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Marsha. JD. No. No. Deborah. Tanya. Linda. Yeah, and some notebooks too. She could buy those two things. Fabric and purple. Brush it because you're not fully clean unless you refresh your screen. <laughs> um, let's see, I did get that one right. Did I did twice. No. Missing is Myra, Tina, Monique, and Chris. Oh, 
think you wiped the dishes for it. <laughs> did Chris leave? I don't think. He, I don't think she did. She, I haven't seen her in a while, but. Yeah, she had to say she was. Nine forty-five, like an hour ago. Chris, are you still here? Or did you fall asleep? She might have fell asleep. I think Chris. Tina did. Chris. Myra probably did. And Monique, I don't see her in here anymore either. Where is she at? So they might all have fallen asleep. I'm probably not going to wait on them because I don't think they're here. I think they fell asleep or stepped away. So, yes, snooze you lose. No fruit cups for them. That's right. Damn it. No fruit cup. You don't get a fruit cup if you haven't eaten your dinner and washed JD's dinners or dishes dinners. <laughs> long it was when you sold the uh, the tape thing the tape dispenser that's when Chris was here <laughs> so, was well it. no fruit cup for any of them Freshly laundered dinner. Yeah. Who's making yeah, their dinner in the washing machine? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I ain't waiting for you. Tina, Monique, Chris, and Myra, you're not being waited for. You got your vibes going? Uh, wake Chris up. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. Uh -huh. Wake up. Wake up. Okay. Oh, there she is. Ah, uh, you're lucky. You need to go pay or else your name ain't in the cup. Hurry up. I got, can't put it in. I got to put, can't get it in there. <laughs> I'll wait. You heard my vibes. No, you didn't miss it. I'm waiting for you to go put go pay, and then this way you're in the you'll be in the drawing. <laughs> See, she heard my vibes. I woke oh, her up. No. <laughs> Good thing I would have had a change my mind. Mm -hmm. I knew that was coming. You better get prepared, woman. <laughs> So now I'm your accountant. You better start paying for for that service. I don't I don't charge lightly for accountantness. Jesus. One million. All right. Yeah. 
go to page 27. Forty-six. 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 Of course I was. Let me see. Oh, I'm sorry. 52. Whoops. I made a mistake. I thought I made a mistake. It's 52. Ow. I'll do it one more time just to be on the safe side. I skipped something on here. I thought I did, but that's why I went back and did it again. 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus Six plus ten plus six plus twelve plus and then the other one was seven over here, wherever that was. It was let's see. Four, five, six, seven, yeah, seven. So fifty two, yeah. Fifty two. Fifty two. Yes, ma'am, I got you. Got Carla's. Hi, Zoe. Okie dokie. Woot woot. Woot woot. Woot woot. Woot woot. Woot woot. Alright. Your name goes in the cup. Okay. The other three people. Well, they're sleeping. They don't get it. Okay. Alright. Vibin. All right. I'm going to put it over here so you can't see who I'm picking out. Okay. You got three guesses. Wait, we got to put you on the screen so that, so that. Guess. What do you got a razor blade there for you? Doing something? <laughs> She's doing drugs. She's snorting clay. He's no mouth. He's mouthless. <laughs> you shut him up real fast. Uh, okay, I'm going with the first word is Linda. Nope. No. Nope. Letitia. Nope. One more, and I didn't erase it. Chris. Nope. It was Gypsy. Oh, hey. Is she here? I guess she's going. <laughs> Jesse. Yeah, she did. He did have a mouth that looked funny. We got a nose anyway. Eyeballs. <laughs> huh. Inside of a pencil. His mouth was. <laughs> I will have to. Oh, get with her. Do what she wants. She wants. Fabric. Did you say velvet? <laughs> yes. Oh, is she the one that said blue velvet or something? Was yes, she the one that wore I'm almost positive, yeah. Oh, well. We'll see. I might, I might be able to find some. I doubt it, though. I don't think I have blue. I know I have gray, but I don't think I have blue. Yet to be hooked. Your vibes were off, Jimmy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good night, Darla. And good night, everybody else, because I'm going to get off of here. Her favorite color is purple. Really? And why does she want blue? Oh, well, she's doing a project. So she probably wants the project. That's what she said. I don't know if Oh, yeah. Everybody's leaving? 
Everybody leave. Yep. We're coming back. Everybody leave. You know who was it here? Katie. Wasn't even at the auction. I know that. I don't know what's going on with her. I know. Get on her foot. She's resting up. I <laughs> hope so. Early or something. I don't know. Weird. Crazy. Whatever. Doing. She better get to crossing. Snap into it. Her out of it. <laughs> right? But all right, I will see you guys soon if you're coming back on. But thank you very much for those who hung out. And, you know, whether you bought something or not, I don't care. Just thanks for coming yeah. and hanging out. But thank you if you did buy something. I appreciate it. Now I may pay my bills. Sort yeah. of. Some of them. <laughs> all right. But you guys have a good night, and we, me and Janie will come back at like, oh, like 11.30-ish. Is that good for you, Janie? That's two and a half hours for me. <laughs> Just <kidding. laughs> yeah, two and a half hours. See, your mouse is nice, and yours is really pink. Mine's not very pink. It's very light. I like yeah. yours. Pink, pink. Yeah. You got me this. Can you believe that? <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> well, all right you guys have a good night if i don't see you but if i do see you then well, i'll see you then <laughs> then you'll have a good night with me and chris are you gonna... on. <laughs> yeah did you, chris did you read the email i sent you about the about your painting things because if not read those okay what happened at 11.30? Oh, um, we all turned to pumpkins. <laughs> now I'm coming back on uh, to do crafting video. Me and Janie will be crafting. I'm just going to go off so that I can bring my stuff upstairs. I got to bring my computer upstairs and my laptop and my papers and get a drink and grab something to eat and take care of the dogs. And then I'm going to come back on and do some crafting for a little while. <laughs> Damn, Skippy. Skippy. Say goodnight to the otter. Say goodnight, Otter. Goodnight, Otter. Or sloth. <laughs> if I, sloth. Called it. I mean, oh, I, keep, I keep calling her Karen. It's Laura. Oh, oh, Laura did? Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I would love to find a sloth. I think I actually did come across a sloth at some point that was a, a tape holder. I think pretty sure I did. Oh. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Sure. I like sloths. But all right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Later. Later, later Gator. <laughs> <laughs>